published by Acclaim in the U.S. Sunsoft took care of it in Europe and Japan. And yes, it does support the shuttle mouse. But we didn't get, get a shovel mouse. Not till later. We didn't get a mouse. Software copyright in 1895. Hmm, but yeah, this is a 95 release. Yep. I believe it was supposed to be like a launch title, but it didn't make it because of the surprise launch. You know, typical. Game about books? Not sure, Totem. Never never seen it before. It's already creepy. Stephen King's The Mist. Is this a horror game? It could be. It could be a surprise horror game. What's up, Nola? Greetings. They probably could have ported this, probably, to the Sega CD. Yeah, we didn't get a mouse in the US until, like, the Netlink, uh, like the modem. Because you get the mouse and keyboard. But I guess you could, you could probably use that. But I'm sure it'll be fine. <clears throat> Are you spoiling? What if it was horror? What if we want it to be horror? Now, now we know it's not horror. Kuten, please. <clears throat> don't talk about the game, thanks. All right. <clears throat> well, I don't know what this game is, all right? Let's go. I realized the moment I fell into the fissures that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such a conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Okay. <clears throat> That's not creepy or anything. Yep, horror. Yep. Depends on perspective. Good point. Look at this. Just me and a hand. Am I opening this up? I'm just pushing start. <clears throat> okay. Hey, there's a bird. Hold on. Back here. I gotta figure out my buttons. What's going on with these? C. B. Well, now I'm at like a dead end. Oh, there's a path over there. Okay. Start. Oh, okay. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, right away, like, the cursor is very slow. Save item? Wait, save item? Load item? Change the setup. Ah, here we go. Cursor speed. That's 
going to have to do. <laughs> Brightness. I will leave it alone. Speed. I don't know what this is. Or give it two speed. Maybe text speed. Let's test the saving. Make sure it works. Select the backup. There we go. System, please. Testing. Your progress of the game has been saved to this point. Looks like we got a lot of saving opportunities. End game. <clears throat> How do we get out of this menu? To start. Exit. Okay. Good to go. What's up, Master? Howdy. Splashing sounds. Mm, it's like being on the dock. Let's see if I can see anything at all. What's this thing? What's that? Oh shit, I pushed... I'm already confused. Freaking one-off switches. I always get in trouble with these things. Let's look into the sea. Oh damn! You came and look into. You can't even look over the water. Hmm. Delete. I delete your save. What? No, better not. I'm going to keep walking. Wow, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at the mist. Hmm. Oh, there's another switch. Is there a way to, like, inspect things? That's what I need to figure out. Okay, A and B do the same thing. Wait, C does the same thing, too. <laughs> there's not even, like, a... There's nothing here. X, Y, Z, nothing. Shoulders, nothing. I just have start. Okay. Seems pretty basic. Let's go look around. Let's go push that other switch down here. Look at these, these rendered backgrounds. Pre-rendered. Hey, it's a burb. Poke them. Boop, boop, boop. I lift the switch up. What's this way? Oh, same deal. Here we go, this. Oh. Okay. I'm already lost. Go over here. Nope. Up here. I think I heard a noise. Oh shit, you can look up. What's this? It's a tin can on the mountain. Hey, Rupari.
You filled an entire notebook shoot playing that. Nice, man. Hope you get some good shooting times. Well, whatever this is, I can't do anything with it. So, let's move on. We know there's two switches. Let's walk down here. Oh, what's this? Great. Like, I can read this. Catherine, I th guess... Something, something. Can I zoom in? I've left you... Uh, I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our four-chamber... four-chamber... something. The, the dock. I, it's just a, a mystery just reading this. Enter the number of, enter the number of marker something on this island into the, the imager to re, re, retrieve the message. Uh, okay, wow, wow. This should have been 480i. <laughs> Can't read this on the CRT, even with RGB. Hmm. All right, so something about the four chamber bend. It looks like a B. Bend A. Oh, it must be French. The dark. Enter the number of marker something. This seems like it's an important word. Uh, sun something? S -s oh my god. And it begins. <clears throat> S switches? Oh, yeah. Maybe you guys can read it better on the capture. <clears throat> beside? How do you know that says beside? How does that even convert to beside? Is are you saying beside cuz you you know the game and you already know what this says because you played a different version? Cuz that's what we don't want. We don't want this information, guys. We need to be playing this without this information. What are you doing 8-bit? What are you doing? You're deciphering a message. Where are you reading that from? Are we copy pasting from guides now? What's happening? <clears throat> I think it's it's a it's like a puzzle in itself where you already know what this says, so it looks like you know what it says. This is gonna be great. It's going to be a great experience. You guys are starting this experience off really great. I don't know. Maybe the Mac version, you couldn't read this either. <clears throat> Who knows? How do we get out of this? <clears throat> it just says, enter the... No so apparently it says, enter the number of Mark... Marker switches on this island into the major to receive the message. Yep. What's up, gal? <clears throat> hmm. No, it, it's blurry. It's like super tiny. Take my glasses off. 
be able to read it. Looks like there's more switches up here. <clears throat> you know this game. Well, that's going to be the problem of the week. We got Kooten here, Eric Gariel. What's going on, guys? We've got uh, a full, a full backseat of bus backseaters. reading notes for me is there anyone that has not played this game before or seen it both who has never seen this game you've never seen this game like who's with me who is I'm going to I'm going to classify anyone that has never seen this game to be on my side. Everyone that has seen the game can be pushed into the corner and just hang on for the ride. What's this? <clears throat> Okay. We've got clouds. And we've got some kind of light structure. Or a compass. Come on. Do something here. Xbox. The heck? I'm opening things. My signal is... We gotta adjust the antenna. What's up, Dark? Hey there, Dally. Nope, never played this in my life. Never seen it. Not once. What's going on, Dally? I played this for five minutes, got lost, vowed to never play it again. Yep, sounds like... Sounds like my experience. I have no clue where I, like I said, I mean, I say I haven't played this before, but I played it for like five minutes as a kid in 1995. No, it was later than that, though. It was like in 1999 because the Dreamcast was out because that's what we went to go play. And it was on some kid's Mac. So, yeah. That's my experience. Five minutes. You got bored trying to play this game about 20 minutes as a kid. Hmm. I'm seeing a common thing. What's up, Sophie? <clears throat> hmm. Yep, in 15 minutes in 2021, and it's still the same experience. No, I'm probably even more annoyed. <clears throat> Can I click on this again? So we had some kind of weird... All right, let's get out of here. The Dali Popka just subscribed. Also, one year hype. Thanks, Dali. Thanks for the Prime Gaming Resub. Thank you so much. 12 stakes. Enjoy the most sweet votes, epic notes, and the bird seed surprise. <clears throat> Where's Dally? The Dally. There you go. Have a million seed. Oh, yes. And in your one year badge, man. Congrats. You did it. Thanks. <clears throat> so it's it's safe to say dark you like mist. Excellent. I don't know what to do with this. I got the red card.
I'm taking the red card. Maybe I can use it here. The hell? Why is there a tugboat? Hello? I can't. I can't see. You don't have to read it. You must. I beg of you to bring me. Yeah, I, I don't know. Do you have Spectrum? Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, bye. Yeah, call me back when you get a new ISP. It's alive! It's alive! <clears throat> Hello? What's up, Franken? Howdy. Firehawk, greetings. Yeah, there's a miss. This was going to release in... Uh, for the launch title, I guess, for the Saturn. But missed the launch title because of the surprise launch, so. <clears throat> I'm already confused, man. I guess I am exactly where most kids were and why they turned off the game. Hmm. Hey, Grunty. Ein, welcome. Mm hmm. Hmm. No, why would I ever play Mist? I think this is the longest I've ever played Mist right now. <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, I would probably have quit by now. <laughs> like, if I had, if I had started at the beginning, I would be like, "What the heck is going on?" And that's what I'm saying right now. What's this thing? It's a light, I think. All right, let's look. Can I look at these things? It's hard to tell what I can and cannot click on. We'll see. Oh, what's this? Tower root. Oh, shit. Well, that did something. Hmm. What else do we have here? What's this? What? <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Is that a different book? But there is a different book over here. I want to go read it. <clears throat> hmm. We got a blue pad. <clears throat> Dark seven 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 eight just subscribed. Mist is about visual storytelling more than anything. You'll eventually get into the groove, but to say more would be spoilers. Suffice to say, it's still notoriously hard with its puzzles and is a point of pride for Epo to have done. Hmm. Thanks, man. Thanks, Dark. Thanks for the tier one sub. Enjoy the emote, sweet votes, epic notes. You didn't have to write the message in the, in the, the thing there, though. <laughs> What's going on? 
What's up, Zeal? Welcome on in. What's up, Sneakers? Let's look at this first. See what this is about. It's just another message. You should sub to the channel so I can actually hear your message. Help me. Ring, ring. Blue pages. Never, never. Pages. Okay. Imagine for the bedroom is in the bedroom. God damn, I'm trying to listen here. What's up, Emerald? Man, now we gotta replay the whole thing. How you doing? Welcome on into Mist. Like I was gonna figure out what that guy was saying anyway. <laughs> hmm. Cryptic? Hmm. What is this? Why are we in the fireplace? We probably shouldn't set ourselves on fire. Should I save? I haven't done anything. Let's see what this looks like. Save. The progression of the game has been saved. Good. Now let's go die or something. Hmm. Oh, is there a button there? Do do do. Oh my goodness! Already it begins. <clears throat> I can barely see this on my TV. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Okay. I do this after the stream every night. I just open up a MS MS Paint. Just do this. I'm probably not even supposed to be in here right now. I'm locked in a prison. This could be the description of the game in my current situation. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me out. All right. Well, well now nah, we'll come back. We'll come back. Let's check up the stairs. Like a room over here? What the hell? Oh. 
So I like teleported into the other room. Wait, blue book? Wait, how the he the hell is going on here? I got turned around? Alright, let's just keep going forward then. Hmm. I hear something. Oh, it's the TARDIS. Yeah, what? I'm now going to go down here. What does that say? Library? I, I don't want to go down to the library. What the hell, man? You trying to cause jump scares? What's up, Sam? How you doing? I think I went somewhere. The tower. All right, let's go look around. Hmm. Hope you're doing well, Sam. Welcome to this misty adventure. Mm. Looks like there's like two ladders. Okay, so we've got like a book. I'm up. Hmm. Oh. So I guess this is a dead end for now. All right. Beautiful. Look at these pre-rendered 3D scenes. Kind of looks like a key. Or an eight. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a wall. Is there something in the dark here? I can't see shit with the lights on. We need a sledgehammer. All right. <clears throat> so now that I know this exists, let's get out of here. Do something with this. Nope. Okay. Welcome to this... Uh, Point and click adventure, uh, Sam. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to go back down. Unless we go up higher. I don't know. Let's see. What's this do? Ah! Oh, we're turning.
Now this is going to take me back to this exact same place. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm going to go back outside if I can even get back outside. Check out that. Alright, what's this here? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, wait. Those, that's the door. I think. I look at the library? Or the, the bookcase? Oh. Oh, hello. Good evening, Marble. Welcome. Hmm. It looks like this book has seen better days. Can we take it for um, other purposes? No, doesn't seem like we can. Oh good, here we go again. I've called this the age... I've called this age Channelwood. It is a very different world. Though it is a, it is exactly how I imagined it, it is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Water covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees which grow directly out of the water. A Madrid, a Madrid, something... Marie, I don't know. Of of thine wooden passageways are built just above the water and disappear into the forest. I assume they were built some time ago, for they appear aged. I am eager to discover more about this land and its people. But I have arrived here late and I must rest. I was awakened early, or uh, this <laughs> I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to one on which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey like people. Yep, here it goes. We're gonna need mods like a hundred percent of this playthrough. People heading in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. The response to me was not that I would have ever expected. After staring at me for a short time, they fell to their knees and began what appeared to be some sort of cer ceremonial worship. Worship. I tried to speak to them. But they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing colors. Slowly, sub, subtly, <laughs> Uh, they would change from, they would change, what? They would change from deep blue, subtly, yeah, that's a B, blue, to muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautiful clear, blue to orange, orange to clear, okay. I was so intrigued by the water, I had hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. 
Climbing the ladder led us to their village, which is about 10 meters above the water. It can only be reached by rope ladders that stretch from the lower paths to the village level, approximately halfway up the ground. Tre what? Up the grand trees. Yes. So grand. Hmm. Hmm. You praise me deeply. You never made it past the first five minutes of this game. Thanks, Sam. Me neither, son. I have no clue, man. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching, watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what they were doing. Very weird book we found here. At sunset, they motioned me to follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared appeared even larger than it had from the outside. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. At least he appeared to be their leader, for he sat a meter off the, gr <laughs> off the floor in a thick throne. Hmm. A mist? Mist that gave you either love or quit in five minutes. Well, I mean, at least they don't dick you around. Hmm. Yep. A guard surrounded the strong creatures who was dressed in many exotic Colorful fabrics. Mm-hmm. It's up pants. Welcome. It's a whole ass book. Yep. I can see why the other book was burnt. <clears throat> Next to the leader sat a very old human. At least to some extent, he appeared human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost white. He hung very long. He hung very long. What the fuck around his frail body. <laughs> sure. His thin head hung limply by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up. To look at me. Oh, what a surprise. This creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. I look forward to learning more. As I suspected, the ancient creature is a human, but he is an old he is old beyond his own reckonings reckoning and seems most insane however the three dwellers almost rev revere him as a god they are treating they are treating me now in the same fashion which makes me feel very uncomfortable it is almost impossible to understand this old man his voice is feeble but wild he has adopted much of the language of the tree dwellers he himself told me he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. He attempted to explain to me the history of his of this place. The following is my best translation of what he has told me. Sup, Taser Dan? Welcome. Hmm. Many years ago, the humans and the tree dwellers lived together in this place, which was a vast island. They interacted very little with the humans. Dwelt, the humans dwelt on the ground. 
Eh? And the tree dwellers lived high above the humans. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious rumb rumblings which happened randomly. Some sort of te tectonic or volcanic action, I suspect. The, s the sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop, allowing everything to return to normal. One day, things changed. The, r the rumblings began to grow quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon it became apparent that the entire island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans died that day, but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans who lived through this catastrophic uh, sure, moved into the trees where they gradually died out, maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment. But I am not sure. This is the story of the old man communicated to me. Although many details were very unclear in my mind, I am especially confused as to how the humans saved the island from the complete sinking. In fact, I doubt the accuracy of that part of the story. The island must have stopped on its own, yet the old man believes in the truth of the story as if he had been there, and the tree dwellers worship him, and apparently all humans as if they were heroes or gods. The old man ended our conversation today with an event which I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, um, mur mooring, hmm, or mooring something about rest, mummering, sure, about rest and asleep. He then said, we had expected you to come sooner. These actions filled me with a sort of immediate dread, with much effort. He stood to his feet. I tried to help that. He pushed me away with more force than I imagined his frail body contained. The tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with very seldom faces. <laughs> seldom faces? They then need kneeled before him. He walked to each and placed his hand on their heads. All the while he murmured words which I did not understand. Finally, he turned to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes and walked out the door and off to the narrow path high in the trees. Oh my god. <clears throat> What's going on, Gary? Greetings. I don't know, man. We just started. Hope you're doing well. This is a great start to any game. I need a robe, wing back chair, and smoking pipe. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, no reading glasses are going to help you with this one. At this rate, we're not going to be able to play this game for more than like two hours at a time because my eyes are going to be killing me. The tree dwellers were silent. They began the pr pros procession, the precaution down to the nearest rope ladder, a pr procession. Sure. As I was descending, I saw several of them pick up the body, and I had fallen into a lower level of walking... No. What? A lower level of... A wallow... Wallaway? Something like... Something away. And carry it away. 
He was he was laying down at the dead end of the sh a short pier like structure. We know where piers are. With the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed them. As the strange funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed to dull green. Hold on, I got a bonus page here. Cool, I'm doing good as well. I'm digging into an El Monterey brand egg sausage potato and cheese burrito right now, along with a side of JJ's Bakery brand blackberry pie, an important addition of Monster Energy drink to wash them down with. Wow, it's a great bonus page that we, I don't think anyone encountered during the 90s. Thanks, Gary. Don't choke. <clears throat> hmm. What's up, Puffy Nips? This is just the game, man. What you're seeing is the actual game. Yeah. Here, where, where, where were we? Oh, yeah. This morning, Gary came to me and said he had to take a big dump. Good luck, Derek. Look, good luck, Gary. Good luck. I woke up fine. I woke finding it hard to even believe the the, pre the previous evening's events. The water is a dull green for as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water is no longer shifts shifts color. As I wander through the path the pathways creatures watch me curious to see that i i will oh, oh oh okay i got creature <laughs> curious to see what i will do next they they are consistently offering me strange objects of affection i even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I had slept. This is a unique race of beings. I hope to learn their language soon so that I may learn more from them. Okay. Now we're in blue. You must have ran out of ink. Mm hmm. Yeah, good luck with your breakfast burritos. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yes, this this font and reading in right at the beginning of a game is so groundbreaking. I have lived on this world for three months off and on, and the tree dwellers have shown great hospitality. I am even beginning to learn bits of their language. I decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and sons and my sons and hopefully return with them however i am sure catherine will once again refuse i think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all and and i at least look forward to how serious and aknar will react to its curious inhabitants Catherine is staying behind as expected. My sons have returned with me and they enjoy this age very much. It's with the colors. They get along very well with tree dwellers and are picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will be too long until they can speak with the tree dwellers much better than myself. Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to say. I mean, it 
looks probably pretty similar on the capture and what I'm seeing. That's the good thing about the upscaling. It's not like it's changing anything. The only difference would be like a 40i image, maybe. <clears throat> I'm leaving tomorrow to check an Ol Osmonian age series. What? Oh, there's a period there. <clears throat> Sirius has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay, though the idea unsettles me. I know the boy are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I could think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while. So I will consent to the request... I warned the boys not to take advantage of the respect the respect the tree dwellers have for their I their ideas. They seem to understand my warnings, and I have faith they will follow it. Oh my goodness. Regretting opening this book at this point in time. Hmm. To understand my warning, and I have faith that they will follow it, much to my dismay, upon arriving in Ever Everdunes, I learned that Fran and her people are continuing to menace by the Chodic. I mean, I guess in some cases it might smooth out certain pixels, maybe. It could be the difference. I don't know. <clears throat> hmm. Myopia is going to be twice as bad by the end of the game. Yep, yep. Hmm. I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly after checking on Sirius and Arkner. I think that's a K or a C or an H or an C H. Hmm. C. Ever Dunes journal for more informational information. What? After watching Sirius and in, in Aknar, I see they are handing handling things very well, and I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channelwood again, and for a little longer time. Oh, great. Purple. The tree dwellers seem slightly distressed that I am leaving, but are happy that Sirius and Arknar are staying behind again. Oh, my God. How is... How is this... Yikes. That's all I gotta say. I have been gone for over three days, and I have seen to many different places... I had to tell Sirius and Arknar about Fran's death today. They are visually shaken. Maybe he ran out of ink and he's using blood. I don't know. Although they only remember her from their childhood, Catherine has suggested that it would be wise for Sirius and Akner to leave Channelwood for a while. And I have to agree. They will be returning with me when I leave again. I have told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. Pretty soon it's going to be yellow font. Like yellow text. I'm, I'm just waiting for it. 
I have told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent the entire night telling me of an adventure. They experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boat with the creatures and traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoy hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures, and I am reminded of my own adventures as a child. I finally understand why the three the tree dwellers have been giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking through some of my past entries, I see now that the inks have changed from From the black, I thought they were, to various different colors. I have shown some of the creatures my journal, and they laughed and howled. I did not know they had such a sense of humor. Even now, as I look through this very colorful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. Yeah, I'm laughing over here. This is my laughing face. Mm hmm Yep. Top dollar for you, Gary. That's right. We will be returning d tomorrow. So my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again. And also asked if they can visit some of the ages alone. So I will have to think it over, their request. I'll have to think over their request. I believe they have proven to me that they are trustworthy and responsible. Catherine will also have to help me decide whether they are ready for travel alone, or now I must give my farewells to the creatures, for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to look on this diagram. It kind of looks like it's this future bridge. Oh, what's going on? Okay. There's also some kind of thing over here, too. We've got some kind of blades or windmill. Can I go backwards here? Apparently you can. Can I rip this page out? Thanks. Guess that's it. That's it. I've been here for like over an hour. Hmm. I spelled mist wrong. Oh no. What's up, core tube? Sorry, my spell checking uh, program turned different colors and freaked out. <clears throat> hmm. All right, <clears throat> got to go back and reread it. I probably will have to go back here and reread it. Oh, good, we got more books. And wait. Hmm. Amit was the Amit was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmet lived, enjoyed his life. Emmet would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as it was never too 
far of a distance. One day another person appeared. The rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named his new purse this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch what? Oh, Emmett and Branch quickly became friends. Swimming and hunting for fish together. Often Emmett showed Branch how kind of name is Branch? The simp <laughs> That's like a name you give a tree. <clears throat> yeah, you like this? This is a great start to any game. Any game. Hmm. Branch. The simple cave. The simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock soon well soon branch discovered a bla a place where he decided to live also on the same large rock the sun always shone brightly on their world and the water has always dra dazzlingly dazzlingly clear allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light free... Ugh, what? A light breeze always, be... always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water he noticed another boy swimming branch brought the new boy to emmett to find out what to call the new boy emmett said the boy should be called will will was soon a part of the group and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world at least that is the story i was told when i arrived today on the island emmett Branch and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly... Hmm? Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing appeared. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing in another... Oh, no. Uh, while I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. Good journals. We got, we, this is probably Gary's favorite part, let's be honest. This portion of reading from Miss Library is only available in the limited edition of the audiobook set, which has been hand-signed by Sharpie 25 times, yep, on both the inside of the covers as well as the inside of the back cover. Yep, I used all my fonts, including blood, tears, and pain from my victims. Yep, that's it, Gary. For some reason, no one wants to buy the books. It's weird. Hmm... It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful. They get obviously still... Hmm? They get obviously still feared. They, they still feared from it. Yeah, they still feared it from it. Sure. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprise, sur surprising change in their world. They didn't understand. Not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand that happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as di dictated to, to me by father. I attempted to create a boat by writing 
by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned. Correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped. I know I have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoyed it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played it they, they have played on it all day, even though the boat cannot move. I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than I than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I had learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Hmm. Yep. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Also during the night, I, I catch glimmers of light from the horizontal, or the horizon, yeah, horizon, which I have not been able to discover, discover if it is created by some natural phen phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover which I'd rather suspect it as additional people. Which would explain the appearance of the br of branch and will. Amazing. You think it is only fair that everyone in chat hold back messages for a while? Sharpie is reading enough for one stream. Thanks, Nola. Thanks for your appreciation and understanding. Hmm. <clears throat> The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just that, just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light towards the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source. If... They have the means. I return with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I've decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as here as I would like. I have had uh, to alter my plans slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. Hmm. Hmm. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done with within two days. The lighthouse is finished, and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure. Uh, raw route, the structure route from from rock with their own hands. They that evening we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread. 
at first and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed, I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming, not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art. Um, that will have a more profound impact. Garayo 2016 just subscribed. Thanks, Emerald. Thanks for gifting six months to Gary. Nineteen months, Gary. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy six months. Your sweet votes, your epic notes. Wait, 19 months? No. What? I'm so confused on this message. Might as well write it in your own blood, Emerald. Gary has subscribed for 18 months. Well, welcome back, Gary. Courtesy of Emerald. It looks like you've gifted 19 months in the channel. 19 months. Thanks, Emerald. That's I've never seen that message before. Usually it's like how many how many someone how many gift subs someone has given. Not how many months. <laughs> I guess that's because you've done multiple months to, to folks. <clears throat> Thanks, Emerald. Hmm. That's a new one. I feel pleased. It's it's like giving 19 gift subs, like one month subs. Hmm. Let's see. I have set in motion events that will have nothing to do with blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Where was I? Hmm, I don't even know. Oh, yes. That will have more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think of it this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open someday in the future. We we'll discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another hmm? the stone stone ship age. Okay. <clears throat> yep, that's a thing. A new a new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age. And so much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age. Once I have, uh, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Once returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The three, or uh, the original three boys, have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years. And the cool breezes are back again. Oh boy. There's nothing to like at this point in time, Bassman. Check back in two weeks. They are all very content and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials. They have discovered. It ever seems they have found gold somewhere. I see... I'm still waiting for the game to start. 
it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have t tried their very best to keep it so. Yet I have noted that the entire rock it has built on has sunk approx approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. Okay. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud, uh, aloud, what? I wonder al aloud with them what things will be like here in another ten years. Okay, some c constellations. Great. Like I can write this down. Right. One, two, three, four. There's, there's four, five, six, seven, seven points. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, look, there's more. Yep. Eyeball, snake, spiders. Oh, looks like I'll be coming back in this book. Arrows, flamingos, leaves. Amazing. Amazing book. It's an amazing start of the game. <clears throat> well, I'm still looking for the start of the game. Let's be honest. All right, well, there's a second book. So this is the book that has the constellations. We're only on the second shelf of these books. Good, that book's burnt up. Thank goodness. Great, a blue book. Oh, look, more. Yes, because, yep, yep, I want to write down exactly what I'm seeing <clears throat> at all times. It has been a while since I have heard only silence, and I enjoy it greatly. I think for some reason I do not feel all altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how about... How could I be unwelcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have... But I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is a... Or is a something... What the hell? Book, come back. is horrid and disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing. Hmm. Get the waters blue, or yet... Yet, the waters blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh, and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet, that strange feeling again. Hmm. So great. Yeah, I'm excited for Ruin's books because I don't have to read anything. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. 
hotter than I would have to imagine. It almost sings my... It's... Singes my skin. And I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled about the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Hmm. Amazing. Dark reds flow from the horizon and, and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have, I have had to return home due to an unpredictable nature or natural natural occurrence more frightening than I had ever experienced I was awakened by a terrible shakings on the ground and explosions on all sides of me gigantic balls of fire uh, were falling from the sky and I immediately left in fear of my life I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. Amazing. This is amazing. Yep. Amazing story. Pressure. I have returned to a different world than the one I left. Only three months ago, yes. I have been transformed into a... Hmm? It has been transformed into a barren desert land with only gigantic centers scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently... The falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving it an oasis in the mists, in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remembered, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I, f I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the center of the lake. The rest of this world seems like a desert, although I will, be, I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds consistently flow through my ears, and I have found a few of them. Uh, I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Mm. Beautiful. Last night, I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately drip, dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly, the ground began to crack, and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tum tumult, tumult 
Okay. Subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I, I can use the, cha I, the chasm to advantage, to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from <coughs> the chasm can be har harnessed. Okay, so he's making hot dogs or something. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm uh, that had been created and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. Oh, great, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than the, the chasm wall, or through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own. So I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Sirius and Anknar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. Yep. The truth comes out about your missed experience. The abundance of raw materials here is beginning to... Is, is, uh, what is this? Okay, a, a maze. Okay, I guess that's an A and an M together. Amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools... I know I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set. And I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age com completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I began today on the bridge. That's all we got. All right. Let's fade it out. Bye-bye. <clears throat> um, something well, and I have decided... Okay. Three meters is not enough support for the beams, although... What the heck is this guy making? Got a satellite dish. Amazingly strong. Uh, three? <clears throat> three amazingly strong. Oh, good. He's building a rocket. Excellent. <sighs> oh, yay. Smudged out writing. <clears throat> now, there's no ribbon for North America. I guess Europe got a release. Hmm. Hmm. No, nope, there's no ribbon. One of my most prized inventions, I am extremely something. Would never have imagined it to 
come together. I doubt. I doubt. Okay. Could possibly work with 14 instead of 8. 14 instead of 8. Completely fatigued. I am so happy to have come something. Com completed. Tomorrow. Uh-huh. Tomorrow. Okay, we got more, more text. Yeah, no, no North American version. It's not... I'm not very sad that there's not that many adventure games on the library if this is what they're going to be like i am leaving today in order to bring back sirius and Anknar. i have left them alone in the channel wood i mean we've got our own fair share of adventure games to go through so here we are all right book three complete what's in this more birding books. Good. Is this one burnt too? These all look burnt up. Yeah, I only have to read half of what the guy said since he used some bad ink. Oh, well, here's some diagrams. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. And it keeps going. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-six. Wait. Did I skip? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh my God. Are you serious? 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127. 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144. 145, 146, 147, 148, 
149. 150. No, nope. we're going to keep going. 151. 152. 153. 154. 155. 156. 157. 158. 159. 160. 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 170, 167, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198, 199, 200. 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210, 211, 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, 221. 222, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, 229, 230, 231, 232, 233 Craigs. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 234. 235, 236, 237, 238, 239, 240 pages. Wait, there's more. 241, 242, 243, 244, 245, 246, 247, 248, 249, 250. 251, 252, 253, 254, 255, 256, 257, 258, 259, 260, 261, 262, 263, 264, 265, 266, 267, 268, 269, 270, 271, 272, 273, 274, 275, 276, 277, 278, 279, 280, 281, 282, 283, 284, 285, 286, 287. 288, 289, 290, 291, 292, 293, 294, 295, 296, 297, 298, and 299, 300. That's it. That's it. That's all there is. There's only 300 pages. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. A way to have no content here. Let's fill it with 300 pages. All right. <sighs> Next up, burning books. Can I burn that book of 300 pages? That'd be great. Well, I know there's another book. It's like right here. That one right there. I don't want to read that book. I don't want to touch that book.
We got a gear. We know there's a gear at the top of that hill, but all right. Here we go again. This should be our last book of this bookcase, I think. Before arriving in this age, I was determined that I would be a journey. It was be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures. And it was the sky here. Uh, the sky here is dark and gray with an unnecessary displays displays flashing of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through very many things in this strange world. Yeah, he probably read through the, all these books. And I have learned many things from him. He has told me of an interesting story of his world's history. Years ago, he told me there was a beautiful city that rose up out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and people had everything they wished for. The city was surrounded by three high hills, which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. Uh, the people of the city had constructed the post, expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for, for fiend or foe, <clears throat> uh, or friend or foe. Yeah, friend or foe. As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usual sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout post's attempts of peace were turned away, and the... and the... Sentries, yeah, sure. And the sentries were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to weak or to to wreck to wreck havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. After the foundations of the city were destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ship sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive through the attack in the nine years since the attack. Uh, what? Oh, okay. In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. Okay, so there's six survivors. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the, the destruction they had started so long ago. Hmm. What's up, Rhino? How you doing? Welcome to the library. I've decided that one that since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable to save this civilization and stop this enemy's plan of destruction. I'm excited about the adventure that awaits me, and I and the uh, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the need. The needed defense for these people. I met the remaining survivors today, and I have begun work on a plan for perfection. Okay. Sure. After a short absence, I've returned to this age with my two sons. They have, as of yet, Traveled rarely, 
with me and they are understandably excited to be here. Ah, nobody's safe. Nope, nobody's safe from the myth. I don't know, man. Still trying to wait for the game to start. I think it's just one of those games, Rhino. Yep. They have grown considerably since Everdunes. And it is already obvious to me that they will be a great help this time instead of the nuisance they have been in the past. All three of us, along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We are building upon the old city's ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. My sons have been speculating, or no, spending, spending much of their spare time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I am very pleased with their intelligence and their creativity and, freshing, and, and it's freshing to see as they work on some small projects of their own. Yay. It has been over four months now and construction is going well. My sons love the world except for its gray sky. They detest the gray sky, tell me many times they wish the sky were like the blue sky in mist. Mm hmm. The old man, they spelt mist wrong. The old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel... We'll be ready when the time comes. Yes, the man reminds me of Emmett in some ways. And I often um, I often wonder how Emmett and his people were doing are doing. It has been six months of work, and we have finally finished the fortress. It rests between the three hills, which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experienced after the attack inside the fortress. I have designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography, holography, what? And I, holo, yeah, holographs. <laughs> I began experimenting with, uh, on my visits to Aspermer, Asper. Aspermer. It will be working in a couple of days after I com compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn to use the fortress. Hmm. The enemy is due. Oops. Okay. Is this his holographic device? Maybe. I've got some switches, rotations. There's his pump, his plumbing. Yes, his kitchen sink. Looks like this bridge. This is a bridge. Goes over here, probably. Okay. To come soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. Great. Fun. So good, Gary. It's so good over here. Yes, GPS. Hmm. Your GPS is out of date. Right around when possible. Hmm. The black ships have come. This game has good holographics. They do. Those excellent graphics. The black ships have come. Their attack was substan a substantial. 
their weapons have been stopped, and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I could not help but smile as I watched the boats leave. The Exidnia of Black Ship. Okay. Damn pirates. Last night we had a small celebration and the old survivors danced their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. I assure my sons that a blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to hear me. Hmm. I have had a healthy adventure and have begun work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe. I have begun. Huh? Okay. But first, I will have an extended time with Catherine, whom I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the, tr the Tide. I believe in my travels, I have found a sub substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments. But they have long endured. I hope to return to Mech the mechanical age one day and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. Though the shy uh, by the sky may always be black, I am confident the people here feel a heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. Book over. All right, let's burn it. Is there something in here? There's more burning, burned up books. Uh. I haven't seen a single puzzle yet, my dudes. But thanks, DQS. Hey, Rashari. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for the game to start. Maybe one day. I'm just clicking on books. I think that's all the books. I don't know. I might have missed something. Did I read this one? I guess. We've gone over all these books and then we're two hours into the game. This is sad. Sad. And and of course we're gonna have to come back and look at these books anyway or something. Or I'll have to get them from the VOD or something. <clears throat> yeah, no kidding, it's gonna take a while. For good re for, for for probably for bad reasons, actually, I'll say. But you know, we won't know until we get there. Alright. I mean, two hours, we haven't even got to a puzzle. I mean, I was just looking around when we first stepped in to this world, as one would. And then they give you, like, this face full of questionable lore. Like, okay. Thanks for filling in for two hours of our life. I guess we're going on a break now. <laughs> like, come on. Take in, our, take in the surroundings and the truths behind myth. All right. <clears throat> What's up, Klaus? Good evening. Good morning. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Definitely a PC game. Uh, all point and click adventures work better on the PC. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. They still work on consoles. They can. They can. I mean, you don't even need a mouse. I mean, look. 
I can move this thing around. <clears throat> you wanted to like this game so much. Yep, yep. It sucked all the joy out of you. Wow. Wow. Did you get two hours in and reading the library like I just did? Because I know you're I know exactly how you feel. I would like to not judge a book by its cover, but when the developers shove your face into a library, uh, it's hard to do. It's hard not to. It's really hard not to. <clears throat> Congo? Yeah, at least Congo, you, uh, they throw, the game actually starts. Um, this one hasn't started yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Still looking to do something. Okay, so we're done reading. I guess we can start looking around. We've already touched these books. I mean, I could touch them again. See if anything changed. That's a red cave. I can't. I can't see. You do it. You must. Hello. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to move your satellite dish. It seems to be underwater. Mist is a special place for you and your brother. Nice. That's usually the case with these kind of games. You play it with a friend and you and you played it for a very long time. So just remember we're not doing either of those things. Well, it might take a long time, but it's going to be a struggling time. <clears throat> hmm. Read any good books lately? Nope. I haven't found a single good book that I've read. I'll let you know when I find one. So yeah, your experience is not going to be my experience with this game. Not at all. I can already tell. I can already tell. I played so many games. <laughs> like I can usually your your first instinct is the correct instinct. You got to go with your gut usually. But maybe the game will flip around. Who knows? Maybe it's just this first beginning part. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just these books. I already pushed this thing. This is like the holo this is like a holographic thing he was talking about, I guess. I wanna go back outside and look around. I wanna go out here. Ah fresh air. Where the hell are we? Can I look up? Blue skies. Oh, I can go over here. Oh, it's a rocket ship. Hmm. Okay. Or a submarine. <laughs> up. Let's leave it up. 
Oh, well, look at this. Is this power? Oh. This looks like a power line. Mm hmm. I'll leave it down. Let's go follow the power line. It's so breezy. It's a cool breeze. So I came out of here. It's over this way. Hmm. It's another switch. Hello? Is this the dentist office? Bye. Oh, shit. Okay, what do we got on the floor? Nice rug. Got like a little compass star thing. <clears throat> Very uh, high detailed picture. You can see the crevices in the leather. See a little mouse turd. Guess I'll just lay back and get my head chopped off. I g <laughs> uh, maybe I should save? I, I didn't really do anything. I'm gonna start filling up these save files. Sure. What's that? Oh shit! The fuck? Mm. Beep 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 beep. Is this my DeLorean? I don't really want to go anywhere right now. I don't. I don't know what the hell this is gonna do? Pull these levers? Oh shit, yeah, you can. Let's just go to the end of the time and space. Let's see what this does. I don't have enough, I don't have enough juice. Let's just go, let's just zip into, uh, uh, next month. A few months, yeah, go. Oh. I'm guessing something has to come up on the display. Hopefully. Alright. Let's get out of here. Maybe that's my mech suit. Let's turn the lights out. Can you look up? Oh, it's so beautiful. We need more gigawatts. Yeah. Could be an alarm clock. Yeah, that could be my napping couch. Constellations. Mm-hmm. 
What if we sit in here? Nope. Right. I don't think I can do anything with these. Okay, well, we know it exists. That's all we can do. Oh my god, it shut by itself. I can't walk. I'm stuck. What was this thing again? Oh, that weird, that note. I, I can't barely read. Says like enter the number of marker switches on on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Enter the number of marker switches. I guess we're counting how many switches we find. So we know there was one at the spaceship, there was one back here, there was one at the gears, it's three. Is there anything down here? Back? Let me go back up to the gear area, let me check this out. Oh, and then there's one down at the docks, that's four. Gears. Gigawatt gears. They didn't have books. That's good. Can we go back up this way? Oh, there's a door here. Hi. This isn't suspicious or anything. This is their hot tub. Should we change our category? Mm, do we jump in or? Oh, there's buttons here. Oh God, what I do? What do you want from me? Four and two, okay. <clears throat> Four bottom, two in the middle. Can I click on those? Probably not, these are just lights. What's up, Mother Brain? How you doing? Welcome to the hot tub streams. Can't go this way. Can't go that way. Okay. Just checking. So this is all we've got. We click this mysterious button. 
inches, four bottom, two middle. This is like a four by four by three grid. Or it could be a four by four. No, I don't think it was. All right, let's get out of here. What's this on the wall? Hello? Oh. <clears throat> Settings. Dimensional imager. Oh, is this what the guy was talking? The note was saying the, the imager. Doing okay, mother brain? Which the game you didn't miss anything. We were just at the library for two hours. Uh choke. Let's see. Topographical the music just kicked in. Topographical extrusion test. Water turbulent. Wa water turbulent something? Oh, pool. Pool. All right. Marker switch diagram. So, be okay, so these are giving us pages. So, we know where there was like 300 pages. We can go back and look for that stuff, I guess. I better write this down. <clears throat> we, we found the world's smallest lion. Oh, violin? Maybe the largest violin. Alright. Where are my notes? Topographical Strusion test We need a pool, we can do a pool Mark a switch We have something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I could have been playing this sweet music during our library scene, but nah. Nah, why not? Nah, don't need that. What's up, APOC? Good morning. Where we're going, we don't need roads. No. Yeah, we need books. Good one. Books and numbers. Can I do something with this? Let's see. So it's a dimensional imager. Not suspicious. Is 
It's set to 67. Water turbulent pool? If I change this. Oh, 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 oh. Let's try a 40. Ah! Mm. Four and two. Uh, topographical ex test. Okay. Yes, because that helped me out severely. All right, let's go put in the other number. Bzz. All right, 47. Holography. Marker switch diagram. That's what this should be. Yep, there's the, sh the sh switches. What? No. That's not going to help me. Wow, look, it's a switch. Whoa. Can I move this? Okay. Guess I'm leaving. Bye. I think the water was always green. What's out there? Oh shit, a dragon. It's like a sunken boat. Can we jump in that? Nope. Okay. Well, we did things, so let me save. <clears throat> Felt like I didn't actually do anything, but yeah. Cycle down through these saves. Back to the docks. Maybe I want to switch all these up. I hate switches. Can we get the Playboy channel? <clears throat> like holography style? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's what that guy wants. The guy with the really low reception. He's trying to get the nudie channels. It's like, hey! Can you please tilt my dish the other direction?
Turn around. Okay, push this. Uh, push that up. So that's three of them. There's a couple of areas we haven't even gone in yet. So let me go down here. Check this out. <clears throat> hmm. Down. Up. these buttons. Across. What? Red and green. Go over to this one. The flamingo. Oh, I've seen these in one of those books. All oh, these little diagrams. Mm -hmm. The snake. Spider. I'm more curious on where that power is going. Oh, somehow I got around that. Cool. The leaf? So many hot tubs, I know. What the hell? That one kind of looks like the one that was in the hologram. The arrow. This looks like... Don't walk on the grass. Mm hmm. <clears throat> An anchor. Okay. So, yeah, it's all the little diagrams from that book. The fuck is this? Ah! Oh, just some butterflies. Thought something was going to come eat my face off. This is where the line goes in. We're going deeper. Where's the generator? I'm looking for a generator room, maybe. Oh. Hello? This is where we find like a billion clones of myself. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Power. Zero, zero. Power to spaceship. Zero, zero. Generated switches. One through ten. So it is a spaceship.
Let's power them up. Ninety-nine. <laughs> All right, I guess it's charging. Called the mist, not the moon. Well, maybe. <clears throat> well, we gotta travel, man. We gotta travel. We read the books. Gotta get to other planets. All right, well, while that's doing its thing. It's a clock tower, hi. It's time to turn valves. That's a valve mini game. <clears throat> The movie Moon? No, I don't think I've ever seen the movie Moon. Hey, Nukem. Yeah, that, that worked great. It looks like it said, like... Oh, actually, what does the time say? Oh, it's changing the clock. But I have to like keep looking up and down. <laughs> so it's the hour and the the minute hand. Start on like noon. That's the hour hand. Okay. And each turn of this goes... I guess I can only go one way. Yeah. Sure, just click that button no matter what. Uh, okay. We're on... 35. What's one click? Five minutes. Let's do one. Two. Oh yeah. Oh, we went past noon time. What the hell? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Maybe there weren't five minutes. Let's see. One. Two. Well, there should just be two more. Like that. There, noon. Ah, shit, go back there. Oh, 
know if they gave me like a time. Well, I'll come back when we find a clue. <clears throat> so I got the power doing something. I gotta go check that ship. Maybe this is another hologram? What is this? Oh, it's like a little boat. I can't do anything with. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Pushing things. Gotta push all the boutons, pull all the levers, turn all the gears. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Let's check out this spaceship over here. <clears throat> See if it's actually charging, I don't know. Guess not. Rockets away! I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> Gotta hut all the pockets? Yeah. I'm looking for a microwave right now. go on the other side of this. Ah. Alright, I gotta go check that thing again. The power. Because this number is even going up? Let's see if the generators are still even on. to be on. But it's not accepting juice. Okay. Power to spaceship. Kept you waiting, huh? Asonicus. Greetings. Hmm. Surprising this has a better frame rate than Dungeon Master 2. The Sega CD. I should flip all these down. I mean, I would think down is actually on. Let's count how many of these things there are. There was one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there are six of these switches.
And get the star map in that room. The weird clock thing, right? The gears can't seem to do anything with. Well, actually, when I did the hologram thing, it did it did move something. Go back in that room. Do 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 do. I'm hitting all the things. Hey, Hippo Stabber, how you doing? <clears throat> I'm not going back to the library. What's up top here? Can I look up top? Hmm. I've got six points. I don't know if I can do anything with this. All right, we're still looking for, like, red pages and blue pages. Oh, there we go. Well, this wasn't here before. Okay. Maybe now we can push this. Oh. Power rotation. Oh shit, what are you doing? We can go down. I don't know how to control this thing. Oh. Oh, shit. So we're going to point it at something. Always room for more hot pockets. Mm -hmm. Is this stuck? What's going on? It's rotating. It turned red over here. <clears throat> Not a fan of Saturn, but this loads quick for the time. Yeah, the Saturn is a beast. It loads incredibly fast. Everything about it is fast. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Why aren't you a fan of the Saturn? There we go. Let's try this red line. This is the only weird thing I see. Let's see what happens. I don't know what tower they speak of. Tower. We go in the tower. What? I got the door, the map, the back room. Wait, what's in here? Wah. 
guess that's a no go. We climb the tower. I want to go climbing. Yeah, we, we went up here before. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> the great about Saturn is that the disk drive would spin down if it wasn't used for a while. Yeah. That definitely preserves some life. Smart move. Dreamcast tickles you your fancy more. Well, I mean, that was the next... That was the sixth generation console. Oh, I gotta shut the door. Right. I didn't prefer the Master System, but I did enjoy the Dreamcast. I mean, you can't really compare like <laughs> generations like that. If we didn't have the Saturn, let's just say if you didn't have the Saturn, you would not have the Dreamcast. Natural progression. Where are we going? No, 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 don't go back down. If the SG-1000 didn't exist, we wouldn't have had any Sega consoles ever. Hmm. It doesn't even say where it's going. I thought it was supposed to be like a name. Okay, so open the door, tower, oh, hey, the door is, the, oh, the door is open, oh, we can see the, oh, see the rocket, because I aligned it with the rocket. Okay, but that doesn't help me. <clears throat> What's up here? Oh, hello. Fifty nine volters. What? Okay, I better write this down. You're the only one that likes the Dreamcast controller. <clears throat> Congratulations. <laughs> hmm, let's see here. 59. So let's see, we're in the tower. Uh... So we're pointing at the spaceship. 59 volts. Hmm. Welcome to the next level. Hey, but I like the Dreamcast pad too. 
Yeah, well. Go and beat more games on the Dreamcast. With the original pad, don't get any remake pads. That stick is going to tear your thumb apart. I can't wait to get to the Dreamcast. It's going to be amazing. Can I get a screwdriver in here? All right, well, at least I got some... Uh, something here. Volts. 59 volts. Maybe we have to go back down and change the generators. I could try it. Oops, close the door. Yeah, that Sega Pico. It's true. If we didn't have Sega Pico, we wouldn't have brilliant kids. So I guess we'll go back down to the generator room. Or maybe I should look at the map in here. Because I think this is a different... Uh, nope, same map. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. Why? It would be bad. What's up, Wolf? Thanks for the host. How you doing? <clears throat> Welcome on into Mist. Part of our Saturn challenge, playing and beating all these Saturn games. If it's your first time here, welcome to game 64. The eerie mist has begun. How's it going, man? You doing some Xbox tonight? Guys don't know Wolf running a Xbox challenge. But apparently running a Life is Strange challenge. Alright. <clears throat> Back to Xbox tomorrow. Nice. Good to hear. All right, we want to go outside. Are you going to be doing some roller coaster tycoon, or what are we? At? What are you up to, Wolf? What's up, Mantoid? Greetings. Ow! The wolf pack. Man, we were the wolves uh, the other day in a mech, um, mech warrior two. <clears throat> we we're barking all over the place, howling into the night. You finished it, though. Congrats. You finished Life is Strange. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. All right, let's go back down to the generator, I guess. Since that's the only clue I have to work on. Somewhat. Let's see if this changes anything at all. Tomorrow you're playing Ed, Ed, what? Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Never heard of that. So apparently we just can't cram all the juice in. We have to lower the, the voltages.
Can we push different buttons here? Oh, yeah. Every level three times game? What do you mean, Douty? Hmm. Oh, you mean Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Maybe. I'm trying to get like fifty nine volts. Oh, so close. That give me more power? Oh. Maybe lower lower this down. Oh, that's too much juice. Oh. A little tiny bit. I got sixty. Fifty. Fifty eight. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you like them, Hippo Stower. We're gonna be on this one for a very long time. Forty nine. This gives us one. Okay. Fifty seven. We get two. Oh, it gives us way too many. There we go. 59. The end, as we break all the engines. <clears throat> we play all the games. Well, not only that, but we beat all the games. No guides, no YouTube videos, no cheats, no nothing like that. No action replay. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Oh, shenanigans. Oh, man. How you doing, Sue Jack? All right, we got our 50 died. <clears throat> it's still not doing anything here. But maybe I have to. Maybe that's not even what they wanted me to do. I don't know. Let's go push some switches. Turn around. I wish they would give me some feedback on these switches. It's down. It's up. It's down. It's up. Oh, you can look at this. I wonder if there's a... Also, we can physically see when the electricity is coming through. Probably. Where the hell am I? 
Oh shit. We're going down. Hmm. I'm on the beach. No, I'm on the roof. Guess. No. Uh. What's up, Kmar? Good morning. Yeah, Monkey Island. That was a fun time. I played that. Interesting. Of course, I would m miss things all the time in that one. Maybe I can climb up here. Ah. Under that breeze. What the hell? Oh. Gotta electrocute myself. Dragons, that was excellent. That's right. Yeah, we already did that one. Definitely not an exclusive. Do, 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 do. I guess we have to get the power going and then just come in here and just fiddle with this. Seems like it always wants to go up. Alright. Well, now that I know it's up there... Good to know. What's up, Durden? <clears throat> Good morning. Hmm. Arcade laser disc. Mm hmm. Yeah, no. We don't have any laser disc hardware. That'd be a tough one. All right. And we still have this mysterious clock puzzle. There's a, oh, there's a switch thing over there, too. So that's seven. Maybe I'm going to put this to seven. Shit, that's not the hour hand, is it? Rip. Doo-doo-doo. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. How is this button getting power? on the 12. Oops. <clears throat> Should be on 12, right? What? How did I go over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm? A 
I thought it was every five minutes. Seems like a weird way to set the clock. There you go. It's uh, what? I didn't do shit. Okay, we'll go look around again. <clears throat> How you doing, Fluin? Thanks for the host. Hmm. this one over here boats Can we click on multiple we can turn them green does that turn green or red oh we can turn them all green Hmm. Let's just go push buttons. some marks over here. I just want to push all of them, see what happens. You never know. You never know. Snake. I think that's all of them. Yep. Let's look in the, uh, the boat area. Yeah. We did a thing that did nothing. I'm guessing all these little switches need appropriate juice. And we probably have to point the tower at these things. that there's no there's a ladder right there too oh my god there's multiple ladders here well, that made a weird noise Bam. no other weird <clears throat> towers. I don't know. The premise of this game. Oh, hi. Guess we can go in now. Bye. Let's save this.
I did something. I got in the door. <clears throat> You're jealous of the load times. Load times of what? <clears throat> hey, Lord Sun. Oh, what the hell? Why is there a piano here? The spaceship runs on hot jams. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go see if we can tinker with this. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay. I guess that's a no-go. We got five little toggle switches. I'm gonna try to hit the go over there and hit the notes. Blast off. <clears throat> we don't even have the door shut. Like we're not we're not going anywhere. This is weird. All right. <clears throat> yep. There's something on the wall, maybe? Nope. I guess I'll have to come looking for a... I have to find notes or something. Or at least positions for five switches. Oh shit, what the hell? Okay, well, that was a thing. Um, <clears throat> yay, notes. If 
I can like look over here. Nope. Kind of reminds me of like the Futurama ship a little bit. Hmm. A piano controller. Don't worry, I got one of those in my hallway. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Hmm. Good old notes. Yep. Epic notes. Yep. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Wow, what's this? Let's go point to it. Oh, it's not red. Because that's the power station. Hmm. I don't like how you let go and it starts to do it. I have to hold down to make it go, but dragging it around would be nice. Okay, so it does kind of stop on the object. I'm assuming... I can't do anything with that power station. Go back down. I go back down and look at the weird pool. We also have this room in here. Very creepy. Which I would have to go back and get those diagrams, I guess. I assume. All those constellations and stuff. So they're entering them in. Boing, 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 boing. I assume something would happen if I get it, if I put something in right. There's nothing to like click on. <laughs> yeah. Also, why is there like another like little switch thing there? What's this? A tiny little something. Kind of 
kind of like goes away. Weird. Yep. <clears throat> Bubble wrap. Mm-hmm. Pop, 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 pop. Go back in this way. Wait, that's going to lead me to the tower. If we go look at, like, the diagrams. I don't know which one had the diagram. This green one, which is apparently burnt and yellow. Did I click on the wrong thing? This one? Now oh, where's the diagrams? Is there one of these? Actually, this might be a different bookcase. This one has a star on it. Do they all have stars? We already went through all these books, I think. Yep, there's the the boat, the lighthouse. The Stone Ship Age. Weird. This isn't the one with the diagrams, is it? Oh, it, it, there is a diagram here. So I'm thinking maybe it was a symbol. So if we go push the symbol... And then we go enter this in. Maybe it'll do something. But I have no method of writing this down. Do 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 we got tons of these for each symbol. Let's try a simple symbol. Like this cross. Oh, it looks like it's trying to make the constellations of the actual... Right. Like an eyeball. A snake. So we've got the cross. Let's try this cross. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's go push the cross thing. Well, these were all red before. Put them back on red. Mm -hmm. 
Berm. Oh, is that the last one? The arrow? This is the cross. Nope, this is the snake. Okay. Eyeball. Wait, I missed the cross. What the hell? This one? There. Yeah. Does that mean I missed another one on the other side? Oh, that's the snake. Okay. Looks like this is sunk. Hmm. Well, if this thing pops out, maybe we can go down to the, the dock or something. <sighs> What's up, Sprint God? How you doing? What are we shocked about? Hmm. That we're still in level one of mist? <clears throat> I'm not shocked. <laughs> Alright, so let's go enter in some cross coordinates. Let's see what happens. How are you supposed to even be able to tell what the hell you're clicking on? Alright, everyone move over one. I don't know if it was like two dots in the middle. Go back and look. Something like that, I don't know. Go check again. It's in this green book, I think. Oh no, it wasn't the green book. It was the one talking about the boat. Blue. Nope, not that one. Upright. There we are. I wish there was a way to like skip. Skip to the drawings.
Mm -hmm. Very suspicious. Okay, so... Well, these are not on the border. These aren't on the edges. Looks like it's... There's more space on the top. One space on each side. Two spaces up above. One on the bottom. These don't even line up. Okay, so two on top, two one on the sides. And it's only four of them. This might not be anything at all. All right, so two on the top. One on each side. doesn't really line up. Bing, 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 bing. Maybe they do want it on the edges. yummy sound. Good morning, Jimmy. Looks like a cross to me. Go look outside. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. Well, that didn't help. I'm doing well. Yeah, well, I'm all right. Waiting for the game to start. You know, 
Enter the number of mark. Let's see. It says enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. To retrieve the message. All right. <clears throat> so how many of these things did we did I find? Um, let's see, there was one at the power station. It's one. Well, let's see, there's one at the dock, the gears, this structure in front of me. That's three. I think there was six of them. One at the the model boat. It's four. Power station. Five. And apparently six, which was across at the tower, or the, the clock tower. Let me try entering in six. And this is again four and two on a on a four by three grid. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean there's six dots, there's six switches. Let's put in six. So right now we have marker switch diagram we get the message hello obi-wan what the hell Doesn't like six. Maybe there's another one that I didn't see. We must do the program Seven. without trousers. <clears throat> What's up, Tex? Did you bring extra trousers tonight? Nope. I'm pretty sure this is what they're talking about. The immature. Maybe they want me to go flip those switches. In the other positions. That's probably what it's checking for. Oh, never mind. I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. That was me, sorry. It's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well... I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library. 
and place them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Access tower. Okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should listen to that again. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. You need the access key and the tower rotation. Like what? Okay, sure. Should I should do drop a save. We got some more info. Let's just save over one. That's fine. Clear the save. <clears throat> what was the water turbulent pool? Let's go back to six, six, seven. So apparently there are eight, eight of those switches. <clears throat> there are switches I couldn't see. Okay. This is like what it started on like this. <clears throat> Let's see if anything changed. Try 40 again, see if the, the land did anything. I, I probably didn't. In the hot tub. Mm -hmm. You don't want to jump in that hot tub, you'll get a mountain up your ass. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to help. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I guess we're done with this. We got information. Maybe we'll put it back to 67. I don't know. He said he erased the message. There you go. There, you've been erased. Like how they have like a tiny little ladder where you can just jump up. So he didn't really tell me much. He just uh, got the key. Remember the tower. Um... Remember the tower rotation. Maybe the hologram changed. Oh, well, that's the tower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I doubt this thing changed. Enter the number of marker switches, blah, 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 get the message. Okay, well, we did that. Go look at the hologram. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> there we go. What can we do with this? Oh, we got one, two. Try this boat thing. <coughs> okay, well, I gotta go back up to the tower, I assume. Uh, this way. So when I'll. A very elaborate um, method of travel. A library. Oops. Going up. <clears throat> it kind of moves like a Willy Wonka elevator. All right. Go look out the let's look out the hole. Yep, definitely looking at the boat. Yep. 
I'll go down. Got notes. October eleventh, nineteen eighty four, ten oh four AM January seventeenth, twelve oh seven, five forty six AM November twenty third, nine seven nine one. The hell? Yeah. All right, something I can actually write down. Let's see, this was the boat. That's what we get for the boat, I guess. Dates. Ten oh four, and we get some time now. <clears throat> so January a seventeen. Almost seven. Five forty six AM. Clues. Finally found some clues. Nine seven nine one. We know we can go enter this into that time chair. That info. Hmm. Make sure we can't unscrew these or something. <clears throat> yep. Write all the notes down. <clears throat> Applesauce, what's up? Your favorite game of all time? Oh yeah? I didn't know that. That's new to me. We got some clues, la 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 la. It's the clue finding game. Let's shut the door. Could have predicted that far, huh? <laughs> Lights out. Lights on. We need the clapper, I guess. Was there anything else in this um, elevator room? They missed. So let's see. So we've got the three clues. We could just go enter them in right now, or maybe we should just look at the other tower rotation while we're here. Let's do 
this. <sighs> you know it's a weird one, but it's true. It's got everything everyone wants in a game. Graphic, sound, being on a Sega console. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's got graphics and some sound. Occasionally, I guess there's some music as well. Yeah. Did find music. Oops, I gotta go in back in there. Alright, we're gonna go back up the tower. Let's get this out of the way. Get our this uh, I assume there's gonna be another clue. Shut door. At least I guess I found a little, the little breadcrumb they threw at me at the beginning. I didn't understand. Hey, it's a gear! Yeah, this for the PC CD-ROM. You did? Emerald, you had this? Hmm. This must be much more fun to control chill in a recliner while using a controller than sitting in a workstation playing the game. Uh... Probably. I'm pretty relaxed. Way better than being on that Mac. With the one button on the mouse, which is creepy enough. No offense. <clears throat> 240... Wait, what? 240 and 221. Okay, so, we got, these are the gears, two forty, it doesn't even say like AM or PM, so I don't know if that's a time. the clock. <clears throat> two, two, one. All right. Well, <clears throat> we got it. Check the little bolts. Nothing's happening. Okay. Hmm. You never beat it and had more active games to play at the time. Like what? What better games did you have to play, Emerald? Uh, that Emerald Jr. had to play. You threw at least 40 to 100 hours into figuring this out as a teenager? Really? <clears throat> and you didn't s stick it out. I mean, I might actually need to get some kind of notepad somehow. I don't have any paper. I might have to order like a little notebook or something.
I'm gonna have to like, oops, I'm gonna have to like write down constellations or something. Warrior 3 with a joypad? With a joystick? Oh. Quake and Duke Nukem 3D. Mmm. I was definitely playing Duke Nukem 3D. Use some toilet paper. <laughs> running out of toilet paper. Now, let's see if anything changed. Mm. Nope. We got that one. That one. Okay. So we've got three points of interest. Hmm. Let's leave it on the gear for now. I just jump through this. Oh, I mean yes. Let's okay. Let's the bookcase back up. Go out there. Go out there, please. <clears throat> hmm. Mm -hmm. I played Tribes. Tribes. A game super fun to play. It was the first multiplayer battle royale ever made. Tribes? Yeah, I don't I don't recall. Tribes. Hmm, where are we going now? I'm gonna check out the gear <clears throat> for right now. What's up, Eric? Eric Abroad, how you doing? Thanks for the raid. Welcome on in. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome to Mist. My blind playthrough of Mist. I have no clue what I'm doing, and we love every moment. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. Hope you had a good time with your StarCraft on a CRT monitor. I'm enjoying mist on my CRT well, television. Mm. 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 Can I move these gears? <clears throat> I enjoy all my Saturn games on my CRT. Hmm. Welcome on in. Thanks for the follow, Eric. We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Hmm. But hell yeah, CRTs, man, CRTs. Nope, I can't do anything with this. Okay, well, let's go over to the clock. Hmm. Hey, Darth Nate. Missed. Welcome to Stephen King's The Mist. If 
finally got this. We found some numbers to work with here. So we're on 7 o'clock. Is this the hour hand? Yeah. Tiny, tiny hand, tiny wheel. We could try like 240. Maybe this is why it doesn't have like a PM thatched. Two more. Speaking of CRTs, Emerald, <clears throat> have you done any uh, bench presses lately? Let's see, 240. That should be it right there. Don't go over there. Please work. Aha! Six little gears. Still have a CRT? Nice. We technically have three CRT televisions in this current house. And I'm using one of them. Hmm. Progress? You cannot... What? Can't open the menu from here. Oh no! How did I know it was 240? Um, the clue. The clue uh, in the tower gave it to me. I pointed the tower at the gears. And look, gears spawned. You got a Trinitron, nice. <clears throat> yeah, no worries, man. No worries. No. It took me a while to get that to to get that that going though. <clears throat> because I needed to get the note. I think I need to listen to that guy's message at the beginning pool where it triggered that hologram. Anyway, we've got three numbers here. And I think they gave me the numbers. What, what are these corn dogs? All right, let's pull on the corn dogs. Power. Oh, maybe we need power to this place. Oh, shit. We do, we do don't we? There's, there's a light right there, I think. Oh, shit. It's time to leave. Ugh. Oh, nope. Never mind. It's a wait. It's not a... There we go. I'm glad I was fiddling. All right. So it gave me the clue 221. we go up? Oh, shit. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, you have a 27-inch Magnavox? So do I. Maybe it's the exact same one. I don't know. Is it flat glass? It's got all the fixins. Hmm. Yep. Trinitrons. 
You got S video on yours? Hmm. Yeah, this one's a little bit later, so it, it has the component as well. 2006 model. There's 2 2. Shit! The hell? How do I get this to 1? Rip. Are we going to have to go all the way around again? Shit. Yeah, this one moves the top. Together. So we need the bottom one to go to one. Like that. But then, this is going to move again. So let's get the top one to two. This isn't going to work. Nope. Darn. I only have so many moves. Reset. Let's start with this one. Two, two, one. So I keep that in my mind. There's two, two, but then that's going to move these two. No, 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 no. What a puzzle. <clears throat> this is how we dialed phones numbers in your day. <laughs> damn rotaries. Damn. <laughs> More like damn corn dogs. But yeah. Hmm. But yeah. So you haven't been moving the, your big old Trinitrons, your CRTs, Emerald? No. Moving it took out your work workout, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Not fun moving. It wasn't fun moving this 27 inch. Can't imagine lifting anything else. <clears throat> hmm. One. He's just going to keep rotating around. The bottom one's got to be on one. Is there, is there another, like, part of this pulley I'm not seeing? I only see two levers. Nope. This is all I got to work with. All right.
So now it's like a little off from each other. So there's the two and one. But I can't move these. There's the two, two. That's going to rotate around again. I'm assuming it's going to have to be on like threes. I think that's what it's going to have to be on, and then we rotate it one. I can get the bottom twos on threes. Oh, no, 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 because it's a two and a one. So it's got to be... How do we need this set up? A three and a two? No, no, no. Three and a one. Three and a one, something similar. Oh, now it's too late. <laughs> Reset. <clears throat> Hmm. <laughs> one did the zero zero one to ninety nine or nine 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 nine. <laughs> one at a time. Yep. Sounds like a logical. Uh, you gotta you gotta cross everything out. These freaking. Uh, I think these corn dogs need to be cooked a little more. Um, I'm trying to think of like. Three dimensional here, where the where it's rotating around, right? So two to one. So we want the one to be over here. On the right. Like that. Now we need all this to be flipped over to the side. Unless I can do multiple pulls, pulls at the same time, this is not going to work. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Hopefully they don't want it to be moving at the same time, but that's going to be a little difficult with the this. So if we line these two up, well, we don't want these to be lined up. So that would line up the one. Ah, I keep getting back into this situation here. I don't think I've ever done a puzzle like this in my life. <clears throat> you, you didn't know this was on Mist. It's a fragmental. Oh, on Saturn. Mist on Saturn. <laughs> I do a nut stew. Welcome to the corn dogs, the corn dog closet. <clears throat> You've ever you, oh you played this on the CDI? Oh yeah, I did not know it was a, a CDI game. So 
We need the top two to be together, but we also have to move the bottom. To the single digit. Like that one. I'm going to have to rotate them all the way around and then like... Get fancy. My numbers aren't lining up. I think I have the right numbers. Two, two, one. <clears throat> I'm trying to get two, two, one. Top to bottom. So that's my strats. Those are my. That's my clue. <clears throat> yep. It's pretty much the same as what you can tell. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably it's probably all the same on all platforms. Saturn on your mist. Yep, don't sat on your mist. You play this on the Nintendo DS. Nice, Killer Miller. Mm hmm. What's up, Jiga? How you doing? Good morning. Hmm. Seems like the rare kind of game the CDI would handle very well. A slideshow? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. <clears throat> have you played through Mist, Jiga? Have you have you have you done this? Hmm. I'm just gonna freaking flail these numbers around. Oh, we got back to the triples. Until I can see some kind of change here. <clears throat> hmm. I just don't know if you can actually pull these at the same time. Actually, I think I just did. Maybe? It's hard to tell. They have a mist in virtual reality. Virtual reality? Oh, I thought you were going to say Virtual Boy. I was like, you lie. What's up, Butcher? How you doing? <clears throat> hmm. Hey, Wallach. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> you just found out about Segata Sh Sanshiro. Shirio. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Se Segata? Mm-hmm. I know, right? <laughs> We play Sagata ads all the time. I'm going to try to hit these at the same time. Doesn't seem to like be that it really doubles up here. I don't see any change. What the hell? I have it on the fastest, um, uh, like, cursor speed. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Back to triple threes. Trying to hack the matrix over here. <laughs> In Gearville. Mm hmm. I can't just click it either. I can't just. I gotta yank on it. Yank it, yank it, yank it. Yank it. Nope. Yeah, we don't have to play Riven, so don't worry about that. That was only, uh, I believe, pal only. So, yeah. Well, at least not North America. You didn't play through all of it, but your dad was obsessed with it when it was new. Oh, there you go. More watching, watching your dad play through it. That would be uh, an experience. Um, I don't know what I would have thought if my dad was playing this game <laughs> in her mid nineties. Hmm. I can't seem to get multiple gears going here. Today, so that's a three. We need this one to be a two. Wait, what if we ro what if we just rotate these? Ah, shit, not that one. So it's a two there. We're looking for two, two, one. So this is two, two, one. So if we rotate the bottom all the way around, like that, right? No. Uh, it's one too many, I think. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Two, two, one. Nope, that's not gonna line up again. Keeps throwing it out of whack. Missed. <clears throat> What's up, Eric? Howdy. Lever, so good. Yeah, the freaking yanking immersion. Yank it, yank it. This is the yank closet, I guess. So somehow I have to get this bottom one to one and get the twos over here. 
We can just move it over. But they've got to be lined up. Get that to three. No, that just we're back to triple threes. Barter, barter. Two. This will make it back to threes again. We don't want that. Oh. Damn crank yankers. Two, two, three. I mean, it doesn't look like I have to. Doesn't look like I have to move these gears that many times, but. Two, two, one, two, two, one. Nope. Now the top two is out of out of sync. Well, I gotta quickly use the restroom. I'll be right back. Just give me a quick couple minutes. Break time. シリーズより厳選した三タイトルを収録した。お得なパッケージソフトが登場。I try to cool it down in this room and it's boiling. Boiling. We're so furious pulling corn dogs. <clears throat> ah, nice air coming in now. <clears throat> Great. Uh, yep, nice. Start yanking. Unless we can get like double yanks going. And then I tried this before. Hmm. This. Oh, we're back to freeze. Unless they want to. Hmm. Try doing the twos on the bottom. Maybe that's why it's not working. Maybe I'm thinking backwards.
two two one. So what if we do two two one that way? <clears throat> But I can't line it up anyway. Yep, blind misplay here. Mm hmm. It's up, Arc. Mm hmm. No, never played. Oh, back to the triple threes. Oh, I'm good at getting triple threes. Mm. Yeah. Clonk. Two, two, one. Something that just messes up the top rotation and I just can't loop it around again. Start pulling them faster. Ugh, it's so hard to pull these levers. Unless <clears throat> we can do something else with this. Reset. Oh. Well, look at that. I'm not sure why that wasn't doing that before. So somehow you can hold them down. Yeah, that's dumb. All right. Suspicious. Two, two, one. Let me try my original. So yeah, the problem is it was yanking them and they weren't being pulled. It still like pops off. Okay. Very slight movements. Very slow. 
So it moves. What the hell? So it moves the top one once, and then it moves the middle one a billion times. Okay. So I guess I'll go back to my original two two one, like top two two one. So this here. Shit. Good morning. What's up, Styles? There it is. It did something. <laughs> oh my god. Two, two, one. <clears throat> What's this? Yeah, it's a freaking miracle. I was yanking my corn dogs too hard. What? So the gear moved. So I'm assuming maybe we can go back and look at the gear area. Let's make sure there's nothing weird over here. Freaking gear miracle. I was using too much force on my corn dog. Don't you hate when that happens? Just did something. I'm gonna go check the gear though in the corner. <laughs> oh yes, I see it. It moved. Let's save. Save, please. Number two. Yes. We're good? We're good. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, Styles, you just woke up? <clears throat> well, good morning. Nothing like waking up to a little mist in your cup. Oh, what is this? Mysterious. Oh, no, not another book. Is that all this is? Is a book? Time to read. You just missed a little bit in your cup, you know. Oh, it's good. It's a video. A tiny ass video, but video. What? What are they trying to show me? Uh, a, a second island? There's definitely something else here. There's three. It's hard to tell. I think there might be like three locations here. I don't know where I am. I think I'm on that one. All right, well, thanks. Thanks for that information. <clears throat> Yay, we got a book. Oh, what's 
What's this? I didn't see this before. Push the button. Hmm. This is a whole different area now. I'm not going to just randomly push buttons. So we've got crosses. Or maybe I will. Circles. Almost circles. Triangles. Double corners. Some kind of... Space invaders. I don't know. We've got... Pinball, I guess. I don't know. Squ swervy lines. <laughs> uh, jagged edges. Circles. <laughs> so it's a four four password puzzle. Hacking, hacking the gears, the gear tricks. The moon, the moon logic. Oh yeah, moon logic is great. I don't know. I don't know, I've never been to the moon. I don't know moon logic. All right, let's go wandering around, I guess. Can go down here, can go down here. Nope. This looks fancy. Oh, can I pick that up? <laughs> Guess I cannot pick that up. <laughs> All right, onwards. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yay, we got a maze. Yeah, this is going to go well. This is just two paths? I can't tell. We got one, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Obscure puzzles in adventure games. Hmm. I don't think we ran into anything weird. I'm going left. Hello? Oh, we've got rocket ships. Boats. Is this our wife? I guess? Sure. Rockets away! Nope. Nothing. Okay. A golden boat? Okay. Not mysterious. Nope. Hmm. A spyglass? I don't know what the hell we're spying on. 
heck is this thing? Nothing yet. Okay, we've got some Chaos Emeralds. Yellow, green, red. Can't seem to do anything with them. No, oh, don't leave the room. How was I supposed to go this way to trigger music? Well, sorry. Go to the throne. Birdie. Crank it. Are we good? I'm good on the crankers. Well, that didn't do shit. We're gonna need to crank harder. Back to that. Oh, it's the dude from Ghostbusters 2. Hmm. Got some paintings. Oh, can we do anything with the lights? No. There's a couple of, like, stools here. And I don't mean poo. Now let's take the book. That's not a book. That's... That would be a chessboard. <clears throat> or checkers. Can't do anything with, okay. I sit. Aha, we're sitting. I can't do anything with a glass. A glass of water? Maybe the bird wants a glass of water. Nico needs some water. Hmm, I, wasn't, I haven't been able to really interact with anything in here. Except for... This... short to be a chessboard? Well, I mean, we are in mist. Nothing seems what it should be. Hmm. You're telling me that it's a, an improper chessboard can't be a chessboard? With moon logic? Yeah, 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 okay. <clears throat> hmm. Got to the clip art point and click. Yep. Still more frames than, you know. Dungeon Master 2. I 
Maybe I can drag these. going on Canadian Gamer. Howdy. <clears throat> Memories of hair pulling times? Yeah. This is the only thing I can really interact with at the moment. I can turn the um I can see if I can interact with this again. And it kinda looks like a clock. This thing is like being reflective. I can only click on this one one area. Weird. <clears throat> and the other thing is just like these gems, which I can't interact with. Yellow, green, red. Yellow, green, red. All right, I guess uh, we'll come back. I don't think I can even like look at this. I can sit down. go out the left door. Oh, what's this? Is this where we get Klondike bars? I'm going to get lost. I think I go push that button. Where the hell is this taking me? Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, we're going into the dank basement. Aha! Squeeze it. Push the doorbell. What? It's moving a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, no, no, don't do that. I gotta see what's going on. Blah. Oh, I guess I can't go anywhere else. Okay. 
start spitting this thing. Oh. Oh. A little more. Right there. Like a upside down horseshoe. Let's leave it like that for now. Boom, 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 boom. If we can go around this. So I just turned. The hell? Well, what do we have here? A gorilla face? Dragonfly? Two swords. Can't do anything with this. some weapons. We need weapons. That's all we need. That's all we're missing. Oh. Yeah. Oh shit. Gonna die? It's a snake. Wants me to turn around? Wait, let's do that again. Ha ha ha, you got me. Do 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 Welcome to the next level. <clears throat> We've got a, a chair. I love the chairs. Yeah, I'm gonna take a seat. Mm hmm Think about the puzzles. There's a machine here. What is this? Well, Fortress Rotation Simulator Calibrating. Um, okay. Ah. What am I doing? Uh Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Reporting north. Is there Riven? There's Riven, but not for North America. Deek. Deek. 
Okay, I don't know what, why I would even do this, so. I put it north. Uh-huh. Looks like there's a door back here. Well done. Hmm. Someone has been living back here. I got a blue piece of paper. Oh, well, let's grab this. I don't it's not like I have an inventory. I just gotta hold on to it, I guess. I'm not going to be able to interact with anything while holding this piece of paper. Whoa! My eyeballs. What? Is there something on the floor? Be creepy? I don't if I could see what it was. I saw you. Try this. all you can do. Put that back down. Don't put your finger in there. have in here. Okay, I guess we're gonna leave. Maybe this is all we were here for. Creepy. Can we shut this again? Shut it. Oh, yep. Do 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 do. Oh, I need a helmet. Give me that. We don't have any gear. Apparently I can't open up anything there. Can we get into this chest? Nope. 
Nothing changed. Can't go over there. Oh, we can try the, the box again. Peekaboo! I venom you! Alright, let's try down the hallway. Where is this going? This goes to the... What the hell? Back outside? Yeah? Let's see. So I did turn something on. We turned on the, um, the horseshoe thing. I guess there was a horseshoe shoe shape. These things? No. Maybe not. We gotta go deliver this blue note. Oh wait, but now I can't go back anyway. It's gotta be for traveling or something. over there. Alright, now I gotta hold this blue thing forever. Should probably go look in that throne room again. Let's go down the, uh... Wait, where is it? Maybe there's only two paths here. Yeah. Maybe this changed something in this room. Hmm. Okay, not there. Got the four corners. Kind of like a little heart on the bottom, but I don't think so. It's like a little cuckoo clock or something. Maybe we can put the bird in there. That's a big ass bird. How long we can pull this? The music's pretty um, suspicious. 
Yeah, we got some music. Okay. We can re-interact with this thing. sit down here. Well, that's me sitting, I think. Yellow, green, red. The glass is weird. Or you want this blue slip? It's not like a... It's not a red card, right? You're not kicked out of the game. I don't think I can drag these. Actually, I might need to figure out a way how to open these cases up. almost like a little red and blue red and white thing underneath here Oh, well, maybe there was something back red and white in that um back room if I close this. Oh, this is open now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's an elevator. Going up? What? I see things open. Open? I don't know what that's supposed to be. Higher. This thing go higher. Oh, the door open. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello. Like maybe there's some switches up there. I don't know what that is. I think I can go around. We can go higher. Up. Oh. What? No. Ah. There's a two. There's a, a cross. There's some kind of T shape. Weird. 
So it gives you like a little countdown? Oh shit, okay. Maybe it will go down when I'm not... Oh, hello. Let's, let's fiddle some nubbins. Oh, so the other one was like a simulator, but this is the real thing? Um... Okay. What? Am I supposed to see anything? I see gears moving. What is going on? I'm sure that didn't do anything. Didn't do shit. <clears throat> What's up, Mel? How you doing? Welcome on in. Ah, yeah, yeah. No access. I got denied. I got my I got my hall pass right here. It's blue right here. I'm good. I'm fine. What's up, corn police? Mm-hmm. Just gonna go fiddle my no my knobs, fiddle fiddle your nubs. You feeling better, Mel? Nice, good, good, good. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we have to go look at that simulator thing again. I guess. Figure out what the hell's going on. Am I piping? Yeah, I'm messing around with my my shaft right here, the elevator shaft. Welcome to the next level. Oh, Hmm. Very narrow. Very narrow passageways. So I guess we don't have to go underneath anymore. Hmm. Oh, not much, you know, just trying to bash my head into this mist. That's all. All right, I'm gonna go down in that, um... Let's look back under here again. Watch your eyes. I can only look side to side. I can't get in here. So apparently they were locking someone up. And shooting UV light, or yeah, UV light. 
Must, they must have been locking up vampires. And here's a vampire corpse. This is your jail cell. A wooden crate. Hmm. I don't think I can grab anything else from the shelf. I grabbed this blue piece of paper. from that shelf. Very strange. I don't see anything weird on the walls. It's kind of some weirdness going on with the floor tiles. Not sure what's going on with that. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, chicken on lunch, all right? Chicken on. Don't burn lunch. Fortress Rotation Simulator. So we're trying to spin this fortress. So there's three other locations. So let's try to get, I think if I go right, it'll take me back. I think I have to get the right. So we push this up and then Something like that. Well, actually, we already fiddled with it, so I don't know where it is. I should probably go outside and just look. <clears throat> What's up, Lex? Hello? Hello? This must be right up your alley. We've got a slideshow of images. Let's see. How do I get out of here? I'm going the wrong way. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe I was going the right way. I don't know. Where the hell am I now? How'd I get turned around? All right, straight. There we go. Now let's go look outside. Let's get some fresh air. Open the windows. This is a hippo game. Yep. Hippo and uh, Tom game. <laughs> okay, well, I definitely moved the platform. Did I just die? Yay! All right, that means we gotta go back. Wait, now what if we look at the... 
supply glass. Anything cool out there? Nope. Do anything with these? Nope. Boop, 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 boop. Now let's go stand on this burner. Why does it stop here? This is weird. Maybe I can look around? Maybe uh, I can go down again? Like, oh no, I don't want to go up. No, I was just kidding. Wait, it stopped at a different place. Oh no, it went all the way up. Oh, okay. Back up here. So strange. Set the time bomb. Blow this place up. Go fiddle our nubbins. So this one goes all the way up. And this one... Move it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe like that? Traveling between the bits worlds. Yeah. Report, I forgot to tell you. What? Don't cross the streams. <clears throat> Why? It would be bad. Hey, what's up, Net? Thanks for the host. You doing a late stream? How you doing? Welcome to Mist. Hmm. <clears throat> Welcome to my blind play of mist. It's been going great. <clears throat> hey Lex, thanks for the host. <clears throat> what we are doing? Playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I hope you had a legendary good time. See if this changed. Oh, <clears throat> that's nice. A hanging skeleton. Mm -hmm. It's probably not the way we want to be going. You finished Mass Effect 1, moved on to 2. Nice. Congrats. We made some progress. What is down here? Hmm. Let's go investigate. With our, with our blue hall pass. Aha! So we've got a broken circle and some spikes. I guess that's part of the password. 
I'll write it down in case I forget, but I think I can remember that. <clears throat> I don't think I can do anything else here. Can you turn around, please? And onwards. <clears throat> Have you ever played Mist there, Net? Hmm? Is that a spaceship? There's a drawing on the ground. There's writing up top. Uh, maybe not. Just a bunch of gears. It's a gear house. Mist is the German word for manure or dung. Oh. Definitely not what it means here. A light spritzing. Hmm. Alright, let's move this thing again. Up we go. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Thanks for the knowledge, class. Hmm. Hopefully it's not a uh, puzzle solution. Before we step out, we probably should have pushed this button. Wouldn't that be something? You had to learn the German word for miss just to beat the game. Alright, up. Move these gears. Do 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 Okay, done. I'll say once we got out of the library, it kinda it's kinda picking up a little bit. I got stuff to do. What's going on, Cloud? What's going on? You love me or you love Mist? You can only have, you can only love one. <clears throat> cloud, cloud, cloud. It's happening. Oh, let's go look at the uh, at the spyglass.
Damn it, there's nothing here. Nah, I probably didn't set this up right. You little Miss Moore? I didn't know you were a misty kind of dude. Let's take a look. Oh? Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, we have half the puzzle. What was it broken? Broken circle and a and spikes. We can guess the rest. <laughs> I mean, we could. We could try the next. <clears throat> I think we want to get over there. So... Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll try attempt to move it once. What's up, Tom? We were just talking about you. Saying, uh, this is the type of game Tom would play. You bought the entire collection on Steam. Oh, the Mist collection? See you later, Corn Police. Take a, have a good nap. Hmm. Yeah, it's been uh, interesting. An interesting almost six hours. Let's just say that, Tom. Two hours of that was just in the library, reading books. Yep. Going up. <clears throat> this wasn't on the Sega CD. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> It, it probably could have. It could have been on the Sega CD, but it was already 1995. I think they were just like, nah, nah. It's time to move on. Saturn was already released by the time this came out. All right, so we just got to move it a little bit. There we go. One, two, three, four. Is that enough? Hopefully, it's not too much. Too much. Let's go running down the hallway. Yay. Please be. Please be it. Please be it. What is this? No, oh, I was already here. Uh I want to get over there. Oh wait, maybe that's where I was. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is different, I think. No, this could be the same exact password. Yeah. I missed it. Haha, <laughs> I missed it. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> Look at that shadow. It's a weird shadow. This looks like a gun. I have all the Sonic hats. Hmm. 
So we don't want to be... So that means I went too far. What the hell? The four seconds is too long. And I'm assuming I have to like... Can I... Maybe I can rotate it back. I should go check the um, simulation. It's in this dank closet back here. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if I can make this thing go backwards. Calibrating. <clears throat> So how about like this? It doesn't do shit. So you have to have this up. Oh wait, maybe I can have it in the middle. It's kind of like magnetized. Ah, oh, see? It goes way too far. Ah, uh, that's what happened. All right, so we're, we're looking this way, I think. To the north. So we're going to have to be like... What the hell? Stop. Maybe I need to jam on the brakes. Well, that's not going to help me. Yeah, that's probably the brakes. <clears throat> There's no way for me to tell what's going on when we get there. It's going to somehow reset it. Yeah, that's not going to happen. All right, time to get lucky. Or was it? <laughs> Welcome back, Mel. How was uh, lunch? The Mist Man himself had a great time in the house. That's right. Because it's not every day when you see a, a completely blind playthrough of Mist in 2021. Hmm. It's a rare occurrence. <clears throat> Have you played this, Mel? Have you ever played this? Your leftover potato dumplings. Hmm. No spring rolls? Alright, so brakes off. Gas. Ooh. 
We okay. Something like that, maybe. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Back in the days, you didn't finish it until you get a guide when you were older. Oh. Well, I'm glad you finished it. What's up, Frozen Fury? Good morning. It's a little misty this morning. A little morning dew. Come on. Did we get... Did I get lucky? Are we back at the beginning? Oh, this is the be the beginning. Okay, so we just need to move it a little bit. Welcome to the next level. <clears throat> Just a little nudge. Just a little nudge. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. Let's get in there. You remember the sequel blowing your mind visually? The sequel? Oh, Riven. Did you did you finish that one too? Going up. I mean, I guess those markings right there represent the beginning. What I haven't tried looking up. Well, they don't let look. They don't let you look up. Oh, okay. All right. So we just gotta tap it. Just tap it in. Breaks off. Gas. One, two. Breaks. 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 What are you doing? Shit. Great. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Driven was was the most realistic game you've ever played. Wow. Let's see if the markings changed. Uh nope. Those are the same markings. Back up. Yeah, you better watch your speed when Mel plays games here. She'll bust you and charge you late rental fees. Holy moly. Amberzine, thank you so much. Good morning. Thanks for the tier 3 Arisa 41 stakes. Enjoy the emotes, the sweet votes, the epic notes. Then brand new five votes for tier 3s. Make sure to get your five votes in. Thank you. Welcome to Mist. Where I touch my nubbins. For hours. All right. 
Are we good? Breaks? Maybe? I don't know. That might have been too much nubbin. Hmm. What? It looked like it was the same marks. I think. How did that not? I think it's the same exact marking on the wall. That means it didn't... It wasn't enough. Not enough gear gearage. I don't know, it did move. Just not where we need to be. We moved way too much. We're like 180 degrees off. Well, I'm having a great time with this one. Mm -hmm. Going back up, going back up. Than reading in the library. <clears throat> Have you been piping today, Emerald? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> I don't know if you're allowed to ask people that. Oh, yeah, we've got to hit the middle button. All right, so 180 degrees. We'll put that up. I like that. Feels like I held it the same amount of time. I don't know. any different markings to I don't know that could be the uh, the original I just want to put my blue note down Do we just go in a big circle? Wait, this is different. Actually, I don't know if this is different. It all looks the same. No, I think this is the same thing. What the heck? No, this is the same place. So basically I held I held on to it too long. <laughs> Yay. There's our current sub poll. How's it going over there with our lovely sports? Looks like uh, hockey's in the lead. Hmm. 45 votes. Wow. Yeah, 
Yep, you pull down the lever a little too hard and your foam is all over the floor, Franken. You gotta start all over again. <clears throat> it would have been faster just to guess the last two digits. Got to go like in a. Oh, now I've got to go like all the way around again. Maybe like that. I'm gonna wait till the gears actually stop. If they put some damn windows in this place, it would have been done a long time ago. No, this is like back to the original position, I'm pretty sure. But I better double check. Yep. So we just need a little touch. Just a little touch to go over there and I cannot make this. Back up we go. How's missed? Yeah, we're trying to solve puzzles. I wouldn't even consider this a puzzle at this point. This is just like... Guess the timing. Oops, I didn't push the... Get the precise uh, microwave calculations so you don't burn your hot pocket. Hmm. All right, so we want a little bit here. Right there. Breaks, 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 breaks. All right, we'll see if that's enough. We got a big seed pot rolling up, snowballing. Oh yeah, it's getting up there. a little bit of progress, I guess. I mean, we did get out of the library.
Oh, this is it. Yes. Finally. You did what? Welcome to the next level. I totally could have guessed those. It's like the it's like a I don't know. I think I'm calling that the space invader. Um and the half the half moon. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be like a sunset or something. Get the last two pieces of the puzzle. Let's get out of here. Thanks for the follow. Hmm. Stacks of poker chips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 13 million doesn't look that much when you look at Wolf's wallet. Like, what the hell? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's an alien ship. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the little card? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And now I have to reset this again. Hmm. So now we've got to go all the way around and hope to get lucky. Oh, actually, while we're here. I should probably look at the, um, the spyglass. See if there's something weird going on. Hey, OVG. Thank you for the GLs. Oh, there's nothing to look at. Well, there was that one skeleton that you could look at. This is not really doing anything. All right, let's try to get home. Hello, world. Hello, Famicom. Hmm. Back up. Hello, Mist. How are you doing? Oh. I see. I see. Beep. 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 Let's try to get the heck out of here. Gears away. <laughs> Something like that, maybe. Watch it go full circle. Come on! I'm making a couple of loaded nacho cheese hot dogs. All right. Shit, I didn't see what the the diagram was. Gotta go look. Oh, actually, that is the no, oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're there. All right, let's get out of here. Well, this section was a big ordeal.
No, that's not the right one. This is the empty spot. What the hell? I thought that was the right path. Uh, it's one more. Oh, man, I confused the symbols. All right, one more. You can just tap it in. Tap, tap. And now I want some hot dogs. There's the two. The two's on the top. Shit, I walked out again. Push the button, then walk out. So just a little tap. Hey Gok, thanks for the host. How you doing? Like that. Hopefully. Please be it, please be it, please be it. Yes. All right, we got the next two pieces. So that was the Space Invader and the Half Moon. Okay. I cannot open the menu here. We found the Book of Mist. Okay, we know what that is. Spinning. Um, okay. There's a weird, there's a couple of weird artifacts that pop up at the bottom of the, the uh, video. Let's break over here. Wait, can I do something with this? Uh, oh, shit. Teleportation? Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that gets us out of there. And we have this blue piece. You wouldn't pretend. 
Hey, just rescue me. <laughs> I'm acting off. Uh. My brother, I beg you. Be complete. Oh, always oh, blue pages. Listen to him. Not listen to my brother. An egotistical fool and a liar. Bring me the blue pages. The red ones. Don't bring the red ones. <laughs> Oh no. I will have my retribution. Please bring me the blue pages. Pages. He wants the blue pages. All right, well, that was the thing. Uh, I guess maybe that's Will. Uh. Don't listen to his brother. Don't listen. All right, can I save now? Yay. Let's save on three. Apparently it's 1999. All right. So I got rid of that blue page out of my hand. Thank goodness. Let's look at the the map here. Mm. Bad weed just subscribed. Now this is what I call a mystery. A mystery, yes. Next of the twenty-four months, Tino. Bad weed, aka Tino's here. Hmm. Enjoy the emotes, sweet votes, epic notes. Twenty-four. That means two years. Happy anniversary. Hmm. Enjoy the two-year badge and the two million bird seed. Good morning. <clears throat> Did I do the math wrong? Wait, what happened to your badge? <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna take a quick break. I think Nico just came out. I'm be getting some hot dogs after the stream. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna go for a little bit longer. Let's look around in the world of news. We can get some more notes. Or use some of our notes. Can we just use Sega to Like that? No, no, no. That's not weird at all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to talk about it like at, I don't know, 9.30 a.m. <laughs> Perfectly fine. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got this new hat. I'll check this hat out. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> now we can really rave out. <clears throat> That's the one you want. <laughs> you want this? <laughs> I can see Tino with a backwards cap. <clears throat> 
But <laughs> you should go check on Amazon. See if you can find it. It's nice. <clears throat> it's comfy. <clears throat> it's got like a little. It, there's a there's one with a uh, rechargeable battery, and then you can also you could get one with um just yeah just regular batteries. I, I went with the rechargeable one. It's a little bit more, but, you know, it'll be worth it. That's right. You can be like... <clears throat> this charges with, like, a little USB cable. <clears throat> if you can't find it, I will uh, link it to you later. Do you know? <laughs> I have all my... Sonic hats still. It's too warm right now for them. They're they're kind of warm hats. Mm. You add LEDs to anything, it makes it way better. Hmm. I also have the the white cap that has a bunch of fiber optics in it. Mm, that one's pretty crazy. What's up, Nine Skill? Good morning. Oh, I thought I could select that. Hmm. I guess we're doing the boat next. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. You'll see the Sonic cats here and there. But, yeah, if it's... If it's warm in here, I can't wear them. I probably can't wear them. Heck, I might be going hatless at some point. Nico Bird, you want to say hi? Nico, you're pretty hatless yourself. It's so warm. Bar 5 man just subscribed. Miss type. Thanks, Bassman. Thanks for the Prime Gaming resub. 18 months. Enjoy the emote. Sweet votes. Epic nose. Bassman is so hyped for the next missed puzzle. Thanks, man. Cartman, good morning. That's right. Mist is here. Nico wants nothing to do with mist. All right, so we changed it to the boat. We had a um, we had a couple of clues I wrote down, so let's go mess around with that. I think it was in here. The creepy dentist office. Nico Chan. <laughs> You're departing for bed. See you later, Wolf. Hey, thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Nighty night. Yeah, it was a little weird at the start, but it started picking up a little bit. Nine Skull. Um, at least got some notes going, and we'll see where it leads us. <clears throat> Nico, Nickelodeon. Hell yeah, Nickelodeon. Hmm. Well, let's try this thing. Got a couple of things to try. We've got October 11th. Speedrunners take a few minutes to beat this game. Nice. Well, speedrunners look up strats, so... Hmm. It is what it is. You gotta be the fastest at looking up things. Let's see. October... 11th. What's this thing? A day? What? 
A year? Oh, this is the year. Whee! All right, so we're looking at 1984. 1984. Good year. Yep. Hmm. Okay, 1984. Yeah, once you, I mean, it's just like any puzzle game. <clears throat> once you l learn the puzzle or look up the puzzle, you just know the puzzle. Oh, all of a sudden it's an easy game. Wow. All right, 10. We're looking at 10.04 a.m. In there. 10.04 a.m. All right, let's see if this does anything. Hello? It doesn't do shit. I didn't turn off the lights. I mean, maybe that's important. <clears throat> Light, lights out. Can look up. Wow, it's so beautiful. We see the big dipper, the little dipper, the teeny zipper, the jumbo size hot dog. Can't do anything in the sky here. <clears throat> What's up, Dark? Howdy. Oh. Oh, here we go. So we've got... Got a little bit of... We got a little constellation. <clears throat> That's right. Expert in astron astronomy. Mm -hmm. This could be a giant hot dog. Push it. Oh, I guess it already lined it up. So, whatever that is. That's the one we need. We need three of these. Hmm. be a problem. I gotta write this down. <clears throat> I, I think I have a, an idea of what I need to do. I just need to write it down. Well, let me get to... I don't know. Let me get to... Some paint? Let's get a paint program up or something. already read all the books. We know about the constellations. We know about the little animals. I'm just going to draw some things. <clears throat> Little white 
white dot there in the middle. I can barely see that on the capture. I can see it. All right. <clears throat> All right, I got one. How do I let's see if I can save this? What's going on with the music? Clean the disk. Yep. Yeah, it's totally the disk's problem. Hmm. All right, I don't know how to. All right, well, I don't know how to write down like what this is. What am I looking at? All right, this was the boat clues, uh, October eleven. Sure, that works. <clears throat> okay. What? Just save this. What are you talking about? drawing All right, I'm assuming they're going to give me two others so let's go get them <clears throat> actually wait we're already in the machine All right, next one was January 17th. Twelve oh seven. Too far. It's like you're twelve oh seven. Falling apart. I'm sitting in a future chair or a past chair. Five, uh, let's see, 5 46 a.m. Oops, I screwed up the year. What was it? 12 07. This one. AM. Forty six. <clears throat> What's up, squirrel nut key, Saudi? Aha. Clue number two. Hey, thanks for the raid, Puck Fig. Hope you're doing a having a great old time over there. What were you up to, Puck? Welcome on in. The mist, my blind experience. All right, I'm writing down constellations here. Got a couple of dots over here in the sign.
like a cluster of three. And like that. Okay. Got it. Let's save this as boat uh, January. Seventeen. <clears throat> All right. All right. There's Puck's information. Playing Act Razor too. Hope you had a good, nice Act Razor time. I've been having a lovely time over here. Um, being lost and missed. It was punishing you like it, like you owned it money. Nice. Welcome on in everyone to our Saturn challenge, playing and beating all these Saturn games for the North American library. One at a time, then we move to the next. So we'll be playing Mist for quite a while. <clears throat> oh yeah, we're very mellow indeed. Hmm. All right, well, there's uh, number two, our third and final clue we picked up was November, mind-boggling, yeah, I couldn't wrap, we couldn't wrap our heads around it when I was a kid, nope, we noped out quick, hmm. I'll probably remember the exact part point that we played for like 10 minutes when we get there. <clears throat> the one way you could play this game today is the real Mist version, uh, where you can move in real time. Hmm. I don't think I've, I don't know about that one. Uh, so what are we looking for? November 23rd? Uh, 97.97. We're going to far off future. That's a lovely noise. Ninety-seven, ninety-seven. It's too early to tell. My thoughts on mist. Uh, I'll just say the beginning sucked, and I'll stick with that story. I was in the library for two hours reading. Six fifty-seven. I'm glad it's picked up a little bit. 6.57 a.m. Oh, shit, I'm looking for p.m. Six fifty-seven p.m. There. All right. Wow, look at all the stars. Joy. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, clear this back up. Difficulties. Sure, that works. 
I'm using like a black sky. I'm just making some white dots. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Fizz, how you doing? Thanks for the raid. Welcome on in. How's it going? What were you up to? Let's get a mark on Mr. Fist running a running a PlayStation PAL challenge. Hey Desmo. Welcome, Mr. Fist. Welcome to Mist. Game number 64. Part of our Saturn challenge. Man. <clears throat> Looking for a flux capacitor, yes. I'm just writing notes down at the moment. I gotta figure out these constellations. Nothing really going on right now. <clears throat> You're doing some Vampire Hunter D. Nice. Did you finish up that uh, weird populous game where you're running around on the beach with like no FPS? That looked like a treat. <clears throat> Hey, how's it going? What's up, G1 King? Nope, not quite how this works. How about you go play it, bro? <clears throat> Mist brings in all the raids, yeah. Everyone loves Chill Rip Mist, apparently. I don't know. Have you played Mist, uh, Mr. Fist? Probably already played it. All right, I'm going to go writing down these. Marking down these stars. I got a cluster of three in the top. This one's kind of all over the place. Four, the two. I think I got it. Save this. Of course, they give you like the complicated looking ones. That was November. Boat. November. 23. All right. Got them all locked in. See what we're doing. <clears throat> ah, you couldn't finish that game, it was too laggy, so you have to find a way to play it. Yeah, I don't think the console's gonna save you. <clears throat> Sunsoft didn't have the rights to publish the PC and Mac versions of Mist, only the console versions, so they missed a Quite a chunk of sales and money. So who who published the PC and Mac version then? You played Mist two years ago. That stuck pretty fast. Weird. Hmm. <clears throat> Are you sure they were at the right place? The right place on the the video that you were checking out i don't know because it didn't seem like every level was like that it was just like that one level that you were on who knows maybe it doesn't emulate right it happens all right so what the hell were we doing all right we we're looking for the we're trying to get this boat or something to do to rise up. I think. So now we have to figure out what constellations these three are. <clears throat> so 
So when are you gonna when are you getting your PlayStation um, hardware set up, Mister Fist? It seems like you keep running into games that are not running very well. It's kind of a scary, scary uh, ordeal. Hmm. Let's see here. The game, let's just say the games on hold must be filling up. Welcome to the next level. Must be filling up a whole list by now. Welcome to the next hmm, level. Next with the follows. Hmm. <clears throat> They've been thinking about it a lot. Hmm. Yeah. If you have any questions on that kind of thing, just toss them in Discord. All right, so I'm looking for. Okay, we got to go to the library, right? All right, the books, and which was this one? I think. Let's go see which animals. <clears throat> Funny, it's in the book. It's in the... It's in the same book as the boat. And the lighthouse. I think it's in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. I gotta figure there. <laughs> All right. Well, let me get those notes out. Missed notes. Here we are. You can see it in the thumbnails. <clears throat> Um, October 11th. It's not that one. It's not that one. Hopefully these line up. <clears throat> they don't seem to be the ones I'm looking for. Oh, wait. Okay, that definitely is October 11th. I was putting down too much detail in the, the stars. Uh, all right, so we got leaf. Go back. What's the next one? January 17th. That's the three on the left. No. Uh, not the cross. Ah, the snake. Yep. All right, we got leaf, snake. <clears throat> you have to go. See you later, Mr. Fizz. Take it easy. Get some rest. You gotta do some adulting, it looks like. All right. <clears throat> See you later. I'll talk to you another time. Hmm.
Maybe the last one was the boat. I mean the the anchor. Um Yeah, that kind of does line up somewhat. All right, yep, we'll go with the anchor. Oh, wait, no. Wait, which one was that? November 23rd? No. Shit, now I got them all confused. Which one did that look like? Maybe that's not what I'm looking for. <clears throat> November 23rd. It could be the eyeball. Eyeball? What did one of these look like the anchor? Oops. Eh, maybe not. That'd be too obvious having a boat puzzle with an anchor. <clears throat> it could be the eyeball. Got the snake, the leaf. I'll see these big stars too, the big marked ones. Man, I don't know about this. Definitely not the arrow. Doesn't look like the flamingo. We already got that one. I think we're going to go with the eyeball. There's a lot of stars in the uh, November 23rd, though. There were two bright stars in the middle. That kind of lines up. All right, maybe we'll try it. <clears throat> Can always come back. We know the animals are on the pillars. How do we get out of here? Am I, is the door already open? Ah, there we go. There's also that little, like, tiny, weird, puzzly room. First, let's hit these over here. Wasn't there one we had to turn off? Yeah, I like that. Turn that one on back to red. So we're looking for a leaf, snake, and eye. For the first test. It doesn't have to be in the right order. Kids! 
Biff's nightmare. All right, that's the anchor. So I'm missing the eyeball. No, the leaf. Wait, I didn't hit the eyeball though. What did I hit? Shit. Leaf, snake, eye. That's, that's the cross. What's this one? The the leaf? Okay, we got that one on. That's the flamingo. What's the one over here? Eyeball. Maybe I have to do it in order. Alright, they should all be on. If I got the right... The right animals. I might not have the right animals. It might not have been the eyeball. Should probably try the order too. What's up, Serpico? Do 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 do. <clears throat> All right, here we are. So leaf. Snake. I. We hit that switch. Turn around. No, no, no. I don't want I don't want to watch butterflies. <clears throat> Need an IV with monster. <laughs> oh, you could take a beer hat. I mean that would work. It's action packed indeed, yeah. Assuming this will do something here when we get this right. Alright, so apparently that maybe is not the eyeball. Because that was kind of a questionable looking... Maybe we can just toggle the other ones. What about the spider? Not the cross, not the flamingo. Not the leaf. I already have that. There we go. It was the spider. Nothing happens to the game. 9 out of 10 IGN. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy we're out of the library. Okay, Serpico? Because that took two hours reading everything. All right. Can we grab this? All right, let's go check the boat.
Well, we definitely have our patience, and we definitely have notes. So, I guess that's all we need. GG. <clears throat> Let's go to the boat. Wow, a mystery boat. Hello? Pirates? Oh shit, I can't see what that says. <clears throat> this is just leaves? <clears throat> this looks like leaves. Wow, it's a porta potty. I'm going to click on everything except for the book. Yay. Panzer Dragoon? Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> so we're flying. We're flying to some uh, mount mountains, some rocks. Oh, the lighthouse is there. I guess we click this. We made it to the next puzzle area. Let's save. I, uh, which one? To the next this one here? Level. Number four. And if we need to have more saves, we could. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. What's going on, Ferrici? How's the tasty stream? Yo, Katsu, good morning. Thanks for the raid. Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome to Mist. Oh, my goodness. My blind Mist play. Reminds you of Encarta Encyclopedia on Windows 95 without any text. Now, the text was here. It was at the beginning of the game. For two hours. Yeah, I'm playing Encarta right now. And I know what you mean, because I had Encarta. Yo, what's going on, Tasty? <clears throat> Let's see what you're up to. <clears throat> For Itchy... There we go. For Itchy, it's like RE3 mod. An, an RE3 mod. Lord of the Necropolis. <clears throat> Resident Evil 2 remake. Wow. Doing some uh, Resident Evil. There you go. All right. Let's look around here. Mist. Yep. Wow. Look at it. It's so misty. We've got a lighthouse. I don't know if we want to go back down there. Let's go check out the lighthouse. A hey, salvage. This game is tough. Tough, huh? Mm, I don't know. We're still at the beginning. What's that thing? 
Okay. It's a key that's touching the water. Gotcha. Oh. But it's a lock. But I have no key. It was weird when I we was coming in. It looked like the place was wrecked. <clears throat> ah, good old Encarta. Yep. Hmm. The number one selling CD-ROM game has been brought to the Sega Saturn. I can't believe it. It's because it came with like most PCs. I'm pretty sure. It's a guy will throw in a copy of Mist for you. If you want to spend a two thousand dollars, and we'll throw in this encyclopedia of Encarta. For only another extra thousand dollars. Let's go check out this umbrella. Oh. What? Pop, 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 pop. So we can only have one out of all these. Okay. Let's just do the left one. Whatever this does. Can I look up? Can I look over? It doesn't look like I can look up here. Let's see if that changed anything. Maybe it was spinning the umbrella. Let's go look around. <laughs> Most PC selling game until The Sims. The Sims, huh? Yeah, I, I know. I know all my friends had The Sims. I think I even had it too. Hmm. It's top ten for sales in three straight years. Wow. I only knew the one friend that had missed. Just one friend for the Mac. That's because he didn't have any other games for the Mac. Hmm. So many docks around here. Oh, it's a different boat. Hmm. Nico? What's going on? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I got a spyglass. We better get some music. Alright, 
feels good. <clears throat> hmm. Why is this a square? Oh. Oh. Okay, so we can look around. Certain numbers. Whoa. Oh, it's the bell. Guess that's all that they're... Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's do that. Can you something with us? Touch it, touch it a little bit. Fondle it a little bit. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> How many JPEG images do we think? I made up this game. Um, thousands. Mm-hmm. I see the umbrella down here. Is that a box on the front? Kind of looks like there's a box. All right, we still haven't gone in here. Can't see shit. Great. <clears throat> Great. Where's the flashlight button? Alright, I guess I can't go in here. There's nothing even in here. Maybe the hatch opens or something. Let's go around here. This is the original boat. What's in this? Oh, same thing. Mysterious dark zones. There's a couple of uh, nubbins here. What's this? Can I look up? Apparently not. I think there was like a power line. Oh, right here. See, there's a power line right here. So if we follow the power line... Hmm... Goes through the lighthouse. Over there. Well, I'm sure the power needs to come from that way. I mean, this thing sounds like an engine. Oh, you can turn them off. a way to keep the engine running. Maybe I need gas, huh? <clears throat> There's a, is there a Miss 64? That I don't know. <clears throat> this was supposed to be a launch game, actually. But 
wasn't quite ready for this surprise launch. No, I don't I don't think that's a missed 64. <laughs> Alright, let's go investigate over here again. Let's follow this line. Right here. Alright, so this is where it goes in right there. Oh maybe the maybe the lighthouse is actually where Power will come out of? I don't know. It's so hard to see anything. Looks like it goes downstairs. Kind of looks like a ramp. There's like a face right here. Something up here in the dankness. Okay, let's get out of there. Oh, maybe we, oh, maybe we can pump out that water. Remember those that water? The lighthouse. Make sure there's nothing down underneath this boat. They don't even let me go back in there. Like, no, you're stuck doing these puzzles. You cannot never leave. Is that a little dude over there? Look, it's like a little... Look at this. This little shadow dude. Hmm. What's going on, hey, gamer dragon -nix? Howdy. Howdy from the U.S. Maine. You're a big fan of Myst games on the PC since 93, I see. Nice. You got all the Myst games. Excellent. You play them every day and all day? Whenever you feel like you want a misting experience. Hmm. Well, let's go back to the lighthouse. Well, welcome to my blind play of mist. Just keep that in mind. We're not looking for any hints, tips, or any kind of information. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Hmm. All right, let's check out the water. Did this move? Oh, it did. It did drain out. Nice. But I still can't get in there. Okay. Go downstairs. <clears throat> as long as it keeps moving, I'm okay with it, corn. It's when you hit it. It's when you run into a, a wall for hours. And hours and hours and hours. <clears throat> nice, you finished all the missed games on the PC. Nice, good job. No replayability, huh? Ah, you gotta keep going back in. It's like once you know the puzzles, I was saying this earlier, once you know the puzzles, then what's the challenge of it anymore? <laughs> You know exactly what to do. Ah. It's like you only get that one blind experience. And after that, your missed life is done. Hmm. This is the P box. Yep. Okay, so we let a little drizzle out. So we look in there. Look in there. No, 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 no. Go back down. 
Let's do it again. Off. On. Okay, I guess we better leave that on. Actually, maybe this can float up. That's probably what's going to happen. So we drain the water. So we turn that off. Okay, now we'll go back up and see if we can fill this back up. <clears throat> do, 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 do. What's up, Cole? What's going on, Cola? Cole is back. Thanks for the stealthy raid. Welcome on in. Hope you had a great stream. Welcome to Mist. How you doing? Hmm. After you played a game like this once, you don't touch it for about 10 years. I think one of these kind of games you just remember for life. Unless you play like thousands of games in between. <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm. The problem with my, like me, like if I was to play this like in two years or something, or I would forget all the solutions because I would be remembering all the failed solutions I tried more than the correct ones. And then we play like thousands of games every couple, you know, every few years. So yeah, I can see forgetting some some puzzle elements, <clears throat> mechanics and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Or if you were very young, maybe. That's true. Maybe it wasn't, didn't stick with you. Alright, so maybe that Fills it back up? I don't... I don't know. Let's go look. You have, you have a 100 point and click games. Wow. Nice. Guess you'll never be bored. You get so many games to play. Hmm. <clears throat> so what's going on, Cola? How you doing? Welcome on in. How's how's the stream? What's going on? Welcome to Mist. Look at this. We've got a chest and we've got a key. What's in the box? Oh, it's another key. Can't believe it. Plunk. Aha. Wow, look at the view. We got a six pack up here. Nice. Someone was having a grand old time up here. Hmm. Battery? We need to get the juice up. All right, let's crank it. <laughs> Man, I can hate these crank yankers. Mm, round three of golf tourney today. Hey, good luck, kit mode. Knock them dead. Get some hole in ones. It, it makes it way easier. Kick your brother's ass, all right? All right, let's check the battery. Is this even doing anything? <laughs> No, it's probably not even connected. Ah, come on. Can I move this? We got the red terminal or the red line. Put 
probably need to put the... So that's a positive. Where's the negative? Down here? Shit. <laughs> Let me go look. There's something in the room. There's nothing even here. I just am not seeing it, I guess. This in the back? I think that's just a shadow. Yeah, that's the shadow. Nope, that's knocking me out. What the hell? Maybe I gotta push this. No, there's no way this is hooked up. I'm missing something. <sighs> Alright, let's go look around for some kind of wire. Boop, ba doop, boop, boop. The six pack doesn't look too tasty, no, because it's completely empty. Why so negative? Because I'm stuck in a puzzle. What's up, Agent? <clears throat> Maybe there'll be something on the boat. We could drain the water again. Maybe there's something down on the bottom. Because we're done with the... Oops. Done with the chest. It's all kinds of wires up top. It could be something in the dark. There's something right there. It looks like it's just spinning. Oh, wait, the light's on. Oh. Okay, then. We're going in. Nope. Apparently, we're not going in. So, I guess just twisting the, um, the yanker was enough. Is this the same one I was just in? What? Maybe there's a wire in here. I'm not seeing. I got the I got a light. Oh. Hmm. Mist. It's such a misting experience. Hmm. Yep, this is my world. I just live here. Mm -hmm. Can't push those. Okay, I definitely checked both of these areas. So we're not ready for this. Oh, let's go back up to the... the top. Unless there's something in the mountain, the cliffside. Do 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 Okay, let's look around up here again. Alright, this is not even looking in the right direction. Hmm? 
Whoa. Oh, this is the top of the lighthouse. Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> hey, uh, Otato. Good morning. La 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 la. It's at one thirty five. Do 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 do. So we got the power on. I don't know if that's supposed to be water inside the, the little holes. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, this is supposed to be water. It does not look like water. I don't know what it looks like, but it's not water. All right, let's see if we drain this out. It almost looks like a slippery surface. But now I get it. It's probably this one right here. It's the put put puzzle. That didn't do shit. Okay. Maybe the next one. Okay, nope. So, first one, no go. Number two. <clears throat> or maybe it was the same as the actual um, lighthouse. Oh yeah, there we go. So, first door. Oh, I got a... A button. Secrets! Yeah, let's go in there. That looks safe. Should we drop a save? I don't, I don't know what's coming up. I don't know what's going on. Mist Island. Number five. All right, it's down here. Yeah, no, this isn't not creepy. This is not creepy at all. Mm -mm. Okay, some kind of weird compass star thing. Push that. Can we push the side? Oh, shit, we can push these. Hmm. 
What? Lights out. Nobody's home. I don't know if I can actually click on anything else. Hell, it keeps moving it. Well, I can't undo what I just did if I can't see. I hit something there. Guess I just reload. Yeah. Is this flooding? Am I underwater? Am I going to drown? Yeah, I want to walk around in the dark. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's just reload it then. Hopefully it works. So we are technically in the stone ship age. Wait, is this actually going to... Am I going to have to redo that whole thing? Oh, no, it only saves sections, not actions. Well, we've got the... Well, it's drained, but we need to... Get the power going, I guess. That's good enough. Oops. <laughs> it's too dark and too spoopy. Yeah, no. I guess both entrances go down. I'm going to go into the farther side one. Do 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 do. They probably all just connect together. Oh, this one doesn't have the the vent. Oh, no, there's a vent right there. Let's keep going lower. Oh my god! Why you scare me? Okay, a chest cavity. Uh-huh, that's nice. We 
We forgot your head. I'm sorry. Do you want a mask? Hmm. Are you calling me sunshine? Good morning, Dougly. How you doing? Get some dial tone on your VoIP. Nice. Progress. Yeah, we can do our, uh, we can connect our Saturns together. Make sweet Saturn babies. So what the hell? Got a little dot here. A uh, flower? A skull? What the? That's, that's not creepy. Okay, so we can move this around. Only five positions. All right. Unless middle positions count. I don't know. Flower. Wait. What? No. Oh, I see. Skull. Well, maybe we should leave this. What? Okay, things are happening. Have you played through this one already, Dougly? Missed? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we can try this today, this morning. I was hoping to get out of this area before wrapping up for the day, but I don't know. We've got a map that I can't interact with. All right. Another map. Cool. So many maps. I think I can do anything with any of these. Oh, half a note. Marker switch? <clears> hmm. <throat> the vault is located by something, the island of something, achieve bury something, instructions are something, each of the marker, something, turn every one of something on position as the final step. The, the something, something as the final step. Turn something there to the something. Great. Can we take this? Nope. Can't do anything with that. How about underneath the... the rug? Let's leave it on the skull. Yep, got it. Yep, totally got it. Look, he clearly wants a skull, so, uh, well. I've seen that flower thing, too. Whoa, what the hell is this? A piss covered mattress. Nice. Let's take a nap. All right, we got another blue note. Nice. 
check under the mattress for pornographic materials. Or wads of cash. Oh, I don't think I could do anything here. So we'll be holding on to this note for a while. Guess we came for what we're looking like this is what we were looking for, I guess. Oh, I wonder if we if we make the flower go on? Maybe we can get to the second part of the note. I can't see what I'm clicking on. Let's start at the bottom. Oh, same page. What a crazy world! I'm not actually sure what this thing actually did. Except for be very spoopy. Well, it started on the left side, so... But we just leave it like that and walk out of here. Oh yeah, we still got to do the other puzzle too. As soon as I touch one of these pegs, the lights might go out. How many pegs are here? Um, let's see. Seventeen half. What's up? What's going on, Canadian gamer? Welcome back. Thanks for the raid. Welcome on in. We're still playing Mist. How goes it? Welcome to the next level. We got like thirty-two pegs here. If I push this, am I screwed? Oh, shit. Wah, wah. I'm just gonna go up to the surface. What are you doing, God? Nice. What were you, uh... You must you did a really quick stream. What the hell, man? What were you up to? Maybe we've been playing this game for a very long time. Oh shit, I went backwards. Can't see. Let there be light. So now I just have to find a book or something to get back.
Wait, so what did I even do down there? I mean, I found this blue note. And we found the... Some kind of weird flower skull thing. Maybe I can use this now? We're still missing like a... A wire there. Maybe we do need this battery. What? They wouldn't have the battery if they didn't need it. There's no way. <clears throat> so what's RCG up to? <clears throat> Mm, you're playing King's Quest VI. Nice. Hmm. You got your keyboard on the Saturn, so you can dial to my Saturn keyboard. You don't need a keyboard. You're going to work on strike? All right. Yeah, we can try it later. I'll have to send you my info. Hopefully you set yours to a 4,000 port. Since we have it set to 4,000. Ugly. I probably should have told you that before. Hmm. What the hell am I missing now? Alright, let's see if those lights turn back on. Okay, they did. Go check out the very top of the mountain again. You set this 4,000? Okay, good. had the 32 there was 32 buttons but oh maybe i have to push the button like if if we think zero is at the top but you come in on like different directions Sixty degrees. Now one eighty. So one eighty would be half, which apparently is at what the hell? We got the we got a boat mast at one eighty. One thirty five. I mean, that could be something. Down we go. Oh, your PC crashed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Welcome to the next level. Blame Windows Ten. <clears throat> hmm. Thanks for the follow. So we're going to go back down in here. Yeah, the other day, man, I hate when the when my PC reboots automatically rebooted, man, things are all over the place. I 
Feels like we're underwater. Lester Mason just subscribed. Lester Mason, thanks for the Prime Gaming resub. 44 months. Enjoy the emote, sweet votes, those epic, epic notes. Good morning. Good afternoon. What's up, Lester? The legend is back. Beep, beep, ba doop, boop. You did all the beep, boops. I think that's north right there. All right, so if that's north, that's 180 degrees. So we wanted 130, 135 with these increments. It's got to be eight increments of five. So, 75, I think I'm going this way, 75, 70, 65, 60, no, right, maybe, that will be 75, 70, 60, I'm doing that wrong, I think. Wait, am I counting every five? 75, 70. 65. 60. 55. 50. 40. 5. 40. 35. That should be 35. But that might not be the, how these are marked. I mean, there might be every 10. If that's 0, 10, 20. How many dots are there here? I think it was like 17 dots. It should be every 10. Something like that. I don't think this is going to be it. No. I guess you only have one try, and then you have to go reset it? <laughs> Great. Alright, yeah. Yay! Beep, beep, ba doop, boop. Can't see. There we go. Blind, blindly find my way out. Yeah, it's got to be every 10, but it was on like a halfway point. On the meter. Oh, this has got to be the puzzle. This is probably a puzzle to get like that extra wire or something. It's my guess. Either that or they'll just give me the book to get out of here. I could go look at the top one more time. Just double check. Triple check. Quadruple check. Yes. 
as a little bird. Almost time for some dinner. All right, so here's zero. Ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventy, eighty, one hundred. It's sitting at. Oh no, it's not point. It's not five. Wait, why is that two one thirties? It's not right. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. Oh, it's supposed to be 150. It's actually at 160. Oh, see, I thought that, I thought that was 30 and that was 40. <laughs> wow. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70? That does not even look like a 7. Oh. Ten. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. That's a fifty. Doesn't even match up. Fifty. All of a sudden, it starts going to point fives. One sixty. One seventy. This is why I was confused. One ninety. All of a sudden, three hundred. No, two hundred. Fifty, sixty. Yeah. Thirty, one ten, one. 310 to 330? Like, what? What a mystery! That's 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Maybe I'm trying to find the mistake. 110. 120, 130, 140. It's like right at 130, 140. Yeah, each peg is 10. Maybe it can push two, 130 and 140. Try that. One thirty, one forty. <clears throat> Let me write this down. What's going on, Nico peeps? The lighthouse. One. 30, 140. Mm. We also need the... Oh, you know what I should also grab while I'm up here is the coordinates for the the boat. Or the mast. Just in case. Wherever that was. Wait, is there two masts? 110, 130, or 120. <clears throat> Looks like mast. Mast 1. Is that 110? 120. There should be two boats, I think. Is that one eighty? <clears throat> this might be like a password kind of thing. One eighty. All right. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> do, 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 do. Let's go enter these in. First, I want to just try the lighthouse. Down we go into the dankness. <clears throat> Some weird weather out there. I think it's probably going to storm soon, Nico, huh? I've been feeling it. Very breezy. All right, here's the North Pole, so zero. So if these are every 10, and we're gonna get 130 to 140. So two dots. <clears throat> Um, 140. So this was 180. 170, 60. Uh, 50, 40. So these two right here. Those two? Shit. <laughs> Thirty-one forty, right there. Bro, maybe we're gonna have to get the other ones as well. I doubt they're gonna have us try to do this in the dark like this. So, Let's go reset. Maybe we have to do the mask, mask one first. get turned around. Little baby. All right, yeah, big oopsies. Oopsies, time to go to the lighthouse. Oh, that's just the window that smashed up when we come in. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, open up. I'll light my house. Wow, Pyro Munch. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> I live in this dank cave now. You can't burn it down. Go in here. Looks like some creepy dudes just standing there. Let's 
Shouldn't we see our own reflection? Guess we don't have a reflection. Wait, is this changing? Depending on... Oh, is there two of these? Hmm. So we're coming in the right door. Now north is there. I think there's two of them. It's very confusing looking. So we go over here. And we turn around. And look down. Looks like there's only room for one. Anyway. Maybe they're just doing that so it, it's always pointing north, depending on where you're looking. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> What's up, Spyro? Good afternoon. How you doing? Welcome. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Techno Rob, uh, Techno Robo, how are you doing? Welcome. Mm -hmm. It was on the shelves everywhere when you were growing up. Nice. Yeah. Everyone, everyone seems to know Mist. What's up, Raven? How you doing, my mellow fellow bird? Hello, bird. Hmm. It's still morning. It is. All right. So we've got the mast. So we will do like one ten. Let's see. We'll try the mat for mast one. So this would be one eighty. Right? 180. So we're looking for 110, 120. I mean, I guess it's just right next to the lighthouse. So 180. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. So we want this one, this one, and I guess that's 120, and then 110. Just like right here, maybe? No, it's just gonna be lights out. There, I can hit all four. Oh, and then the other one was 180. Maybe I can hit it in the dark. Can't see. Plus, I'm holding this stupid blue note. Good morning, Raven. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I have to go backwards on the dial.
Let's go back downstairs. Oh, this is beeping. Really, I'm going upstairs. Beep. Maybe that's why there's a light, so you can see what the hell's going on. Creepy skeleton. And we got this again. Which I don't really have an idea of what the hell this is supposed to do. I doubt it's going to change anything in the drawers. I made it to the stone ship. Yep, yep. What's up, Dark? Good morning. Welcome back. <sighs> yeah, we did uh, we did like a few areas. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. I'm just, I ran into a wall here. I mean, unless this is, no, this is tell, talking about the other place. I think. The vault is located in blank, the island of something, achieve instructions over each of the marker, turn every one of the... The on position is the final step. I think it's talking about the original island on this. I'm just, just maps that I can't do anything with. You got this creepy freaking flower. Wait, was that different? So when I turn it off, it goes into a skull. If I do this, it just goes out. Okay, what if we put it in the middle? Weird. Round. One, two, three, four, five. There's five notches, and that's all we got. Check the bed. This is where we found the blue note. <clears throat> this is this is my first age. No, we did the oh we did the what was the one we did the the gears. It was like the gear turning island thing. Maybe we gotta move that. Hologram over here. I don't think I can move it. So I can pick this up. I 
There's these masks. Can't interact with the masks. Uh, okay. Zofar 321 just subscribed. I wasn't a fan of Mist in my youth. Me neither. The little I did play. So far, thanks for the Prime Gaming Reset 45 months. Enjoy the emotes, sweet votes, epic notes, and the missed life. Yeah. <clears throat> it's very puzzling. Very puzzling. It's either you hate it or you love it, I guess. I gave you... I gave you so much trouble when you were a kid. You mean like the gear rotation level? Yeah, it gave me a little trouble too. Just the way that it operated. I know exactly what you mean. It was nice to get out of there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta go back to the lighthouse. But now I'm getting stuck in this level, so fun. Get onto the lighthouse. Hmm. I know, right? I have the blue hall pass. Let me back. What are you doing, Nico? Because doing stuff. Still can't do anything with this weird battery. So we're working on like this button puzzle that has a billion buttons to it. Which I have the coordinates. To figure out how to enter them in. Hmm. They're pretty watery noises. <laughs> it is. I got, uh, got my glasses on? Yeah, my thinking glasses. Mm hmm. Do you have your thinking pants on, Tex? I don't think there's anything going on here. <sighs> All right. So... I mean, maybe I have to be thinking backwards, like going left, not going right. That is 180 degrees, that one right there. But maybe they want me to push the north one. Hmm. Let's see what happens when you push this. It just instantly turns off. Can't see shit. Hmm. 
was thinking maybe they're th they want me to be looking in the mirror or into the window. Man, this is not annoying or anything. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to leave this for later tonight. I was hoping I could get through it quicker, but it's not gonna happen. Because I have the notes, I have the info. Apparently, it's still being cryptic. Actual entering of the info is the problem. Like, even when I figure this part out. I have no clue what's going to happen. I'm assuming it's going to open up. I must be standing like in the middle of both sides. Also, the like the points to these the star here. So we've got sixteen. I think I counted sixteen points. Mm Lighthouse was at one thirty, one forty. Unless we want to get, maybe we add them together or something. Like a two seventy. Well, that still leaves like those masts that were up. That's zero. Three sixty or no, I mean it would be three fifty. So three forty, three twenty, three hundred, two ninety, two eighty. What was I looking for? 70. 270? So maybe this one? Oh, fuck! Push the other one. Now I don't know. <laughs> now I won't know. I have to go back. Uh. If I wasn't holding this blue note. I, mean, I guess I could put it back down.
I don't have to be carrying it around if we're just messing around. Get my pointy finger back. I kind of wish you had like a pocket slap that card and tuck it in your socks. As soon as you walk away, that door shuts though. Because you can't get the water to go in there. You get the water to come in here, though. Hmm. Well, that might be something. Alright, so I think it's this one here. Let's see if this is a uh, 180. 190, 200, 210, we've got the 220, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I want to get this one. What the hell? This one. Nope. Alrighty then. Let's let's flood this place. See what happens. Stupid blue light. Yeah, originally there was a door or a button for the hatch. Maybe you can't actually raise the water. Yes, yes, you can. I need the light back on anyway. Thinker was naked, that's how he's able to think better. Oh. True. True. Yeah, clothes only hold you back. It's, it's a good point. Alright, so the water is back up. If there's any difference. Hmm. <laughs> 
Mist is actually a simulator of the journey our our files make when we copy them. Paste already. Hmm? <laughs> All right, well, it doesn't look like we did anything here. How you doing the flow? Because we're holding a page. Oh, yes, yes, the blue notes. Hmm. Well, I don't know which one I want to click on. <clears throat> We have the 110 and the 120. We can add them together. Maybe like 230. Seems like whenever I push one, it just triggers the, the blue light. What's going on, little bird? Whoa! Hopping right up. All right. Time for snacks. All right. If we're doing 2.30, we could try that. It's 180, 90, 200 here. 10, 20, 30. Hmm. I have watched Lost, and I was thinking about that earlier when, I was, when we were reading the story uh, in the library. Well, lights out. Yeah, going down the hatch, man. Damn hatch. All right, well, maybe we've played Mist too long today. I guess we'll just camp. We'll just sleep here at the, uh, the lighthouse. Nico's... Nico needs food. I need food. We made some progress. I doubt it's going to save this, but it might, since we have the uh, blue note. But we cannot open menu here. Where can we actually open the menu? Down here? Oh, okay. Save item. Save to the number one. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I think I should make a backup save on the external. Just in case. There we go. End game. Boop. <laughs> Well, it was an interesting time. Nine hours of interesting times. Oh, look, credits. GG, we're already done. Ah, oh, no wonder why any percent is so short. Just load it up and click end.
All right, we'll pick this back up later tonight. Sunday stream, somewhere around 11 p.m. Eastern, probably. Let's check out the poll on the way out. Creepy music. They lock you into these credits, too. What's going to happen here? Thanks. Sun Corporation. Oh. There we go. A little reboot. Mm -hmm. 